Ich mach die Maske kurz fest. Das ist das First leg is Stefan to throw first, game on. Ganz herzlich willkommen zu den My Darts. SCC Finals 2022, 2023, live aus dem wunderschönen Thun, aus dem Kongresssaal in Thun. Wir starten in der ersten K.O.-Runde mit ja, direkt einer starken Partie. Stefan Hechtler gegen Luis Camacho. Unglaublich, 85. dass die beiden so früh bereits aufeinandertreffen. Bereits in der Gruppenphase hatten wir einige sehr, sehr spannende Begegnungen und konnten auch bereits 85. richtig starke Spiele sehen. Mal schauen, was Stefan Hechler und Luis Camacho uns zeigen können. Wir haben hier leider ein wenig Verspätung gehabt, also entschuldigt bitte, dass ihr im Stream bisher noch nichts zu sehen bekommen habt. Vielleicht habt ihr es gesehen, wir haben da noch eine Award-Verleihung gemacht für die besten Spieler und ja, für die 55. Entwicklung etc. Also da ja, müsst ihr uns entschuldigen. Genau, Stefan Hechler konnte in seiner Gruppe nicht gewinnen oder respektive nicht den Gruppensieg erreichen. Gamacho hat jedoch mit drei Siegen aus drei Spielen den Gruppensieg klar gemacht. Somit das Gruppenerster Stefan, you require 157. Also hier direkt in der Runde 1 auf, Luis, äh, auf Stefan Hechler. 66. Und Hechler startet in dieses Lag auch besser rein. Steht 
nach 15 geworfenen Pfeilen auf 91 Punkten Rest. Sieht also soweit so gut aus für 59. den Schweizer. Nein. Luis Camacho hat jetzt gerade am ähm, PDC World Cup of Darts Qualifier in Portugal mitgespielt. Achtung, Stefan Nechler. 59. 16. Verpasst hier zu 1 zu 0. Aber Gamacho konnte sich da nicht qualifizieren für das Event, was ja wir als Swiss Darts 174. noch Stephanie bald Require durchführen 32. dürfen für die Schweiz. Gamacho mit einem unglaublichen Setup-Shot hier. Auf 44 Punkte Rest, leg. aber Hechler nimmt hier das erste Leg mit. Second leg is Luis Bleibt the first cool auf der Doppel-16 und macht mit dem letzten Pfeil. Aber es scheint so, als ob Gamacho nun stärker in die Partie 100. findet. Beginnt hier direkt wieder mit den 100 Punkten in dieses zweite Leg hinein. 45. Beide soweit mal ähnlich gestartet vom Average. Und ich denke, 125. Macho, wenn er so weiter spielt, dann dürfte er diesen in diesem Lag zumindest noch einmal deutlich anheben. Aber wir wissen natürlich auch, dass Stefan Hitler mit unter Turnierleiter vom heutigen Turnier oder in der Turnierleitung mit dabei ist. Dass natürlich auch Stefan ganz, ganz starke Darts spielen kann, das wissen 81. wir. Aber Camacho richtig, richtig gut. Das waren neun sehr starke Pfeile, steht auf 195 Punkten Rest. Stefan braucht 81. hier eigentlich fast ein Triple, hat aber keines. Ja, aber auch Camacho in dieser Aufnahme. 33. Nicht perfekt, alles andere als perfekt. Zweimal in die Single 7 sogar abgerutscht. Vielleicht noch einmal eine kleine Chance für Stefan, um in diese Partie zurückzukommen. 100. Ja, immerhin 100 Punkte lassen ihm aber kein Finish. Ja, und Luis ist wieder zurück im Triple. Achtung. 94. 62, aber bekanntlicherweise nicht checkbar. Darum. Also zuerst hier noch einmal einen Setup-Shot auf 68 Punkten Rest. 60. Luis requires 68. Stefan kommt in diesem Lag nicht wirklich vom Fleck. Kann ja keinen Druck ausüben. Und Luis Doppel 4. Jetzt die Doppel 2. 64. Uh, verpasst auch Stefan, hier. You require 155. Steht also auf 4 Punkten Rest. Nicht unbedingt das, was du als Spieler willst. Ja, Stefan aber weiterhin viel zu weit weg, dass er hier... Oh, dass er hier Druck 26. ausüben kann. Was Louis war denn das? Muss er da noch einmal absetzen. Ganz speziell ausgesehen. Game short in the second 26, leg. ja, und Camacho nimmt den dann auch Third mit leg ist to throw first. zum 1 zu 1. Gutes Lag vom Portugiesen. 19 Darter. 55. Und Stefan muss schauen, dass er hier wieder in die Triple zurückfindet. Denn auch zum Start in dieses dritte Leg ohne Triple geblieben. Und Gamacho macht es besser. 100. 100 Punkte für ihn. Der Gruppenphase unter anderem hat es übrigens doch ein, zwei Überraschungen gegeben. <lacht> Achtung, Luis Camacho, 140 stark. Denn zum Beispiel hat Jochen Graudenz nicht den Gruppensieg erlangt. Okay, ist nicht ausgeschieden, noch nichts passiert, 66. aber nur Gruppenzweiter geworden. Hat ein Spiel verloren also. Und auch Rocco Fulciniti nur als Gruppenzweiter qualifiziert. Das stellt natürlich dann auch 80. das Bracket ein wenig auf den Kopf. Da kann es also dann durchaus schon in frühen Runden zu sehr, sehr starken Begegnungen kommen. 45.
Genau, wie das natürlich auch Gamacho gegen Hechler ist. 41. Und sowieso auch gemäß der Auslosung kann es nicht zu einem ja, Traumfinale kommen zwischen Stefan Belmont und Marcel Wagner. Das ist Louis sowieso nicht möglich. Da die beiden in der gleichen Turnierbaumhälfte sind. So spätestens im Halbfinale würden die beiden aufeinandertreffen. 60. Wenn sie denn Sorry, 70. so weit kommen, ist ja auch Stephanie nicht garantiert. Require 167. In diesem dritten Leg sieht es wieder gut aus für Luis Gamacho, aber Stefan hat hier 99. die Chance auf die 167. Luis verpasst 70. aber die Triple 19. Die Chance auf das Bullseye. Gamacho Triple 18 für die Doppel 8. 62. Er passt hier Stephanie nur knapp. 68. Somit die Chance für Hechler, sein anwurf durchzubringen und wieder auf 2 zu 1 vorzulegen. 48. Ja, Hechler entweder über die 8 oder 16 spielen. Doppel 16 jetzt gefordert. 44. Uh, der geht weit weg. Require 8. Die Single 8 sogar. Somit Gamacho wieder am Zug. Nochmals die Doppel 2 wie vorhin. Die haben Draht dran, Doppel 1. No score. Ins Stephanie Feld hinein 24. überwirft sich, was ja tendenziell eher besser sein sollte für ihn. Jetzt Game Shot in der Third Leg. Stefan Den nimmt er mit. Third Leg ist Louis über die Doppel 12 first. zum 2 zu 1. Und Sie sehen schon im Hintergrund heute wirklich. Unglaublich viele Personen vor Ort. Das größte jemals organisierte Turnier von der Swiss Arts Corporation. Über 250 Spielerinnen und Spieler waren heute insgesamt am Start. Also wirklich ein richtig breites 60. Teilnehmerfeld. Und viele sind da natürlich auch noch neugierig. Viele Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer auch vor Ort übrigens. Nicht nur Spieler und Spielerinnen. Das macht das Ganze 43. heute ja, noch interessanter. Und man sieht es auch im Hintergrund hinter dem Liveboard. Da sind wirklich einige Personen am Zuschauen. 60. Die Runde der letzten 128, die wir hier und jetzt ja spielen, ähm, die ist weiterhin erst first to four legs. 100. Das heißt, eine relativ kurze Distanz. Stefan fehlen also nur noch zwei Legs zum Einzug in die Runde der letzten 60. 64, wo es dann bereits ein Preisgeld für die Spieler gibt. Und zwar sind das 50 Franken, die sämtliche Spieler erhalten, die es 41. in diese Runde weiter schaffen. Also das schon einmal natürlich eine ja, Motivation natürlich noch einmal eine zusätzliche. Neben dem, dass natürlich der 60. heutige Turniersieger ziemlich viel Prestige zugeschrieben wird. Den 250 Spieler, das gab es in der Schweiz noch sehr selten. Und vor allem auf diesem Niveau. 35. Ja, traut man sich fast nicht zu sagen, aber wahrscheinlich noch nie. Also wirklich die Creme de la Creme heute mit dabei von den Spielern. 100. Und Stefan kommt hier auch noch mal in den Finish-Bereich. Bleibt in Position, falls Luis Camacho hier Entschuldigung, sich nicht gut stellen kann. Steht auf 145 Punkten. Jetzt wahrscheinlich runter auf die 15, um Stephanie sich die 100 Punkte stehen zu lassen. Eine gute Ausgangslage für den Portugiesen. Ich glaube, braucht jetzt mindestens ein Drittel dass er noch einmal Gefahr ausüben kann. Ja, 120. Ich weiß nicht so recht. Ah, Gamacho natürlich 55 geworfen, Entschuldigung, steht auf 90 Punkten Rest. Und versucht den Doppel-Doppelweg. Uh, der war richtig knapp von Luis Gamacho. Shanghai finish jetzt bei Hechler. Auch die Triple 20. Hat die Triple 20 aber leider nicht. 60. Somit keine Chance mehr auf ein Finish. 
für Hechler. Stellt sich aber bereit, was Gamacho auch hier noch einmal verpassen sollte. Der stellt 20. um, Doppel 8. Auch die verpasst Stephanie ja, nimmt hier sich 60. einen da selber weg auf die Doppel 9. Vielleicht wäre das der bessere Weg gewesen. Wir werden es gleich sehen. Ich glaube, jetzt die Doppel 10. Auch oh, wow, die verpasst er. 16. Somit noch einmal die Chance für Camacho. Vielleicht also alles richtig gemacht. Doppel 8 gefordert für den Herren Aspot. Game Shot in der Leg. Luis Camacho. Und den macht er. Fifth Leg ist Stefan Und der war wichtig. First. Das sieht Game man an seiner Reaktion. Camacho voll in der Party mit drin. Der Macho bisher auch vom Ericher noch einmal 5 Punkte besser. <lacht> also bisher ein guter Auftritt vom Portugiesen. Mal schauen, ob einem Spieler bald ein Break gewinnen sollte. Und da ist die 180 und Maurizio Castrovinci kann sein Schild im Hintergrund mal brauchen. Die 180. Stark gemacht von Luis Camacho. 60. Und das sind drei perfekte Darts bisher von Camacho in dieses Leg. Ja, es werden leider nicht vier. Wäre auch zu schön. Aber schon einmal ein super Start vom Portugiesen in dieses fünfte Leg. Und das sieht doch bereits gut aus für ein mögliches Break in dieser Partie. Aber Hechler hat da natürlich etwas dagegen. Gute Aufnahme von ihm. 100. Aber wieder 100 Punkte nachgelegt von Camacho. Nach neun Pfeilen steht der auf 121 Punkten Rest. 60. Luis, you require 121. Kommt jetzt wieder ans Board für die 121. Bekommt aber keinen Pfeil auf 57. Stefan, you require 141. Diese Aufnahme nicht. Wird aber voraussichtlich nochmal ans Board kommen. Außer Stefan packt hier das High Finish aus. Welches jetzt aber bereits nicht mehr möglich ist. Ja, keine gute Aufnahme. Nervt 29. er sich natürlich auch selbst. Luis, you require 64. Er weiß, das wäre eine wichtige Aufnahme gewesen. Oh, aber auch Gamacho. Schlechter Pfeil hier. 57 Rest. 17 für Tops. Nimmt sich ja noch einmal die Zeit, um die Doppel 20 anzuvisieren. Ein wichtiger Pfeil. 44. Ja, aber Stefan, you require deutlich 100 am Doppel vorbeigeht in die Single 20. Somit noch einmal die Chance für Hechler. Aber der braucht. Mindestens ein Triple für dieses Finish. Ja. Aber nicht die Triple 5. Das ist natürlich nicht <lacht> hilfreich in dieser Situation. Luis, you require 20. Game shot in the fifth leg. Luis Camacho. Ja, stark. Luis Camacho Game on. nimmt hier dieses Leg jetzt mit zum 3 zu 2. Somit macht er das erste Break und führt jetzt also mit einem Leg Unterschied und wirft an zum Einzug in die Runde der letzten 64. Ja, und wieder ein klasse Start von Camacho. In dieses sechste Leg kann Hechler hier noch einmal kontern. Das ist die große Frage. Hechler ja wirklich eigentlich ein klasse Spieler. Schon seit Tag 1 bei der Swiss Darts Corporation mit dabei als Spieler wie auch als Turnierleiter. Mitunter auch für 100. die Entwicklung sehr, sehr wichtig gewesen in der Vergangenheit. Aber natürlich muss er dafür auch vielleicht auf ein, ja, auf ein wenig Training verzichten oder natürlich auch sie kann sich da nicht 100% auf das <lacht> Turnier fokussieren. Und das 
kann ihm da natürlich in so einer engen Partie doch auch ein wenig zum Verhängnis werden. Den Camacho, der ist natürlich voll fokussiert auf dieses Turnier, denn der weiß, heute gibt es ein schönes Preisgeld. Dem Sieger des Turniers winken 2000 Schweizer Franken. Also doch ein sehr stolzes Preisgeld, was natürlich jeder Spieler hier Bertie. gerne mitnehmen würde an diesem Auffahrtsdonnerstag heute in Thun. Gespielt wird übrigens, das sieht man jetzt hier im Stream überhaupt nicht, auf einer komplett neuen Anlage. Und im Streamchat habe ich auch die Frage gesehen, was für Boards wir benutzen. Auf dem Liveboard, das ist es jeweils ein extra Board, das extra bedruckt wird. Darum nicht ein klassisches Board, das wir sonst benutzen. Ansonsten 95. spielen wir mit den Winmau Blade Stefan, you 6. Require 121. Ähm, also in der restlichen Turnierstätte Winmau Boards. Das ist ein eigens bedrucktes Board. Das kann ich ehrlich gesagt nicht genau sagen, 57. was das für eine Marke Louis, you require ist. 116. Genau. So, wir gehen in die entscheidende Phase dieser Partie. Gamacho, kein guter Pfeil hier. Kein guter Versuch auf die 116 Punkte und er wird sich doch hier nicht direkt wieder rebreaken lassen. Das wird er sich hier 42. sicherlich auch gerade selbst fragen. Stefan, you require 64. Lass ich das jetzt wirklich zu, dass Stefan Eichler den Designer erzwingt. Er kann es jetzt nicht mehr selber entscheiden. 16 für die Doppel-16, für Hechler. Enorm wichtiger Pfeil. 32. Und er ist dann Louis, dran, ganz, ganz knapp vorbeigeworfen von Stefan Hechler. Steht auf 32 Punkten Rest und Gamacho hat jetzt die Chance, das Match zuzumachen. Wird wahrscheinlich ein Matchstart bekommen. 20 für die Doppel-20 verpasst hier und verwirft auch den letzten Pfeil Stefan, noch. Was macht denn Gamacho hier? Wirft 29 Punkte, wirft hier schon weg, obwohl das überhaupt nicht nötig gewesen wäre. Get den Hechler hat hier ja noch überhaupt nicht einen Matchstart, aber der bleibt cool Seven und macht das 3 zu 3. Was für ein Spiel hier, Spannung pur in der Runde der letzten 128 beim SDC Tour Finals Event. Hechler wirft also jetzt an zum Match. Unglaublich, so schnell kann sich das Ganze wieder drehen. Gamacho eigentlich vom Scoring her leicht besser, macht die Doppel aber nicht, respektive verfehlt zu viele Singlefehler. 100. Im falschen Moment und lässt Hechler noch einmal zurückkommen. An alle Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer, sowohl im Schaffhausfernsehen als auch auf YouTube. Ähm, nach diesem Spiel, da wird es wieder eine Pause geben. Dürft ihr euch schon darauf einstellen, da natürlich sehr viele Partien noch 41. laufen. Gleich im Anschluss kommen, kommt das nächste Duell in der Runde der letzten 128. Denn gespielt wird auf 32 Boards und bekanntlich sind das ja 64 60. Partien, die hier gespielt werden in der ersten K.O.-Runde. Somit wird das in Zwei verschiedenen Runden gespielt. Das nächste Spiel wird dann vom, ja, zwischen dem Youngstar Kilian Schmutz und Joel Breitenmoser stattfinden. Auch das wird definitiv eine klasse Partie werden. 90. Aber zuerst muss natürlich dieses Spiel hier noch beendet werden zwischen Gavacho und Hechler. 140. Was wahrscheinlich jeden Moment der Fall sein wird, denn beide scoren hier auch wieder richtig stark. Und Hechler direkt wieder mit der Antwort, 72 Punkte. Immerhin einmal in den Finish-Bereich gestellt, wird er sich ja sagen. Stefan, you require 138. Gamacho kommt jetzt nicht ganz so gut vorwärts, wie er sich vielleicht erhofft hätte. 138 Punkte stehen bei Hechler. Bei Gamacho sind es 118. Aber Vorteil natürlich noch bei Hechler, der den Anwurf hat. Und Louis, sich hier auch auf Tops stellen kann.
18 werden es schon einmal nicht von Camacho. Und jetzt kommen die Matchstarts für Stefan Hechler. Doppel 20. Doppel 10 jetzt für Hechler. Ach, der ist wieder knapp vorbei. Jetzt muss es die Doppel 5 30. sein. Oh nein, der geht weit weg. Louis geht ein Raunen durch das Publikum im Hintergrund. Sieht man richtig. Und Gamacho bekommt also noch einmal die Chance auf die 60 Punkte. Kann er diese Chance jetzt nutzen? Nimmt sich noch einmal Zeit. Wie man es von ihm kennt. Wieder die Singlezahl verpasst. Das ist nicht gut. Bekommt nur einen Pfeil. Auf die Doppel 20. 25. Kann den aber Stephanie wieder nicht nutzen. Das gibt es ja gar nicht. Also noch einmal Hechler. Doppel 5. Inside. 1 für die Doppel 2. Achtung Hechler. 8. Oh, da geht weit weg. Da sehe ich nur Louis den Schatten vom Pfeil. Er war weit im Board drin. Also noch einmal Gamacho. Drama pur in dieser ersten Partie im Stream. So, jetzt trifft er die Singlezahl. Jetzt sollte er doch auch das Doppel treffen. Free. Nein, wieder nicht. Gamacho kann ebenfalls nicht ausmachen. Macht es Hechler jetzt über das Madhouse. Doppel 1 für Hechler. Fragezeichen. Game Shot. Da ist Match er da ist Stefan drin. Hechler, Besieg, Luis Camacho. Und was für eine Zuschauermenge hier. Klasse gemacht von Stefan Hechler. So mit einer Runde weiter. Und ich würde sagen, wir machen eine ganz kurze Pause und sind dann gleich wieder zurück mit der nächsten K.O.-Phase. ko phasen spiel Bis gleich.
Thank you. 
First leg is Kilian to throw first, game on. Twenty seven. Sixty. Forty five. Sixty. Thirty six. Forty one. Forty one. Forty. Forty five. One hundred and forty. Sixty. Shall you require one hundred and sixty? Eighty. Thirty seven. Shall you require eighty? Seventy five. Thirty nine. Shall you require five? Game short in the first leg. Joel Breitemoser. Second leg is Joel to throw first. Game on. Ninety seven. Sixty. Seventy six. Thirty two. Eighty three. Thirty one. Sixty.
41. Forty one. Sixty. Surely require one hundred and forty four. Sixty. Forty seven. Shall you require eighty four? Fifty two. One hundred and twenty. Surely you require thirty two. No score. Kilian, you require one hundred and ten. Game short in the second leg. Kilian Schmutz. Third leg is Krillian to throw first, game on. <laughs> 55. <laughs> 55. One hundred. Ninety-seven. Ninety-six. Twenty four, forty five, ninety eight. Fifty-eight. One hundred and forty. Kilian, you require one hundred and forty-seven. Sixty. Surely you require eighty-seven. Twenty one. Kilian, you require eighty seven. Eighty two. Surely you require sixty six. Thirty. Kilian, you require five. No score. Shoal, you require 36. 
Game shot in the third leg. Joel Breitemusser. Fourth leg is Joel to throw first. Game on. Fifty nine, twenty six, thirty. Thirty four, forty one, sixty. Sixty eighty one forty four. One hundred and thirty two, eighty five, eighty five. Twenty seven, Kilian, you require eighty three. Yep, triple seventeen. Yep. Game short in the fourth leg. Kilian Schmutz. Fifth leg is Kilian to throw first. Game on. Forty, Forty-four. Seventy-eight, thirty-three, twenty. Twenty eight, thirty eight, thirty 
140. 100. Surely require 128. 83. 28, surely require 45. 45. Game shot in the fifth leg, Joel Breitemusser. Sixth leg is Joel to throw first, game on. Eighty one, eleven, one hundred. Sixty-nine, Forty Forty one One hundred and twenty six. 57, surely you require 59. 49. 40. Surely you require 10. 10. No score. 46. Surely you require 10. Six. One hundred and forty. Surely require four. No score. Kilian, you require 40. 
score. Surely you require four. Two. Kilian, you require 40. Twenty. Surely you require two. Game shot and a match for Joel Breitemoser.
Ganz herzlich willkommen zurück im Livestream der SDC Tour Finals 2023, 2023. Wir sind angekommen in der Runde der letzten 64 der Partie zwischen dem Engländer James Wilkinson und dem deutschen Manuel de Vrede. Die beiden konnten sich beide souverän durchsetzen in ihren jeweiligen Partien. James Wilkinson mit einem Whitewash über Patrick Blaser. Also gleich ein 4 zu 0 für den Engländer. Und Manuel de Vrede konnte sich gegen Cedric Sommer solide mit 4 zu 2 durchsetzen. Und ich denke, das sollte eine spannende Partie werden, denn beide ja, mit über einem 70er Average First leg sehr, sehr James stark gedacht geworden. Da dürfen wir also definitiv gespannt sein, was uns die beiden Herren zeigen können. Ich würde euch auf jeden Fall vorschlagen, jetzt ganz genau hinzuschauen. Denn James Wilkinson direkt mit einem sehr guten Start. 140. 140 für den Engländer sind es geworden. Und Manuel de Vrede macht er es besser, auch 140. 100. Stark gemacht. Das Bild ist bei mir leider ein wenig verspätet momentan. Darum vielleicht wenig asynchron mit den Scores. 44. Ich hoffe, das wird sich gleich verbessern. Beide bisher wirklich solide reingestartet in diese Partie. James Wilkinson hat sich einiges vorgenommen. Hat auch vorhin gesagt, hat einige 180 geworfen und auch hier mit der 180. Was für ein erstes Lag von James Wilkinson. 81 Punkte nach neun geworfenen Pfeilen. Unglaublich, was uns der Engländer hier bietet. In diesem ersten Lag. Leider bei mir wirklich sehr, sehr verspätet das Bild. Hat er 80 Punkte 42. knapp verpasst. Aber James nach wie vor 16. richtig, richtig starkes Game short in the first leg. Lag James Wilkinson. von Engländer. Second leg is Manuel James Wilkinson first macht Game das hier also auch zum 1 zu 0. Was für ein erstes Lag 57. von Wilkinson, 13 Data. Unglaublich, was der Herr uns hier zeigt. Ich hoffe, das Bild wird sich gleich ein wenig stabilisieren, dass ich die Scores auch jeweils live kommentieren kann. Manuel de Frede muss hier definitiv auf einen Gang zulegen, wenn er hier eine Chance 45. haben möchte gegen Wilkinson. 45 Punkte sind da definitiv zu wenig. Wenn James 95. weiterhin so aufspielen sollte. Der Mann aus London, auch schon zwei, dreimal bei einem Turnier bei der SCC mit dabei gewesen. Klasse Spieler, spielt vielmals auch Turniere in Pubs in London. 45. Das ist ja Kult, Turnier mitzuspielen. Hat erzählt, vorgestern keine 41. so gute Erfahrung gemacht. Wurde da aus dem Pub gespielt, auf gut Deutsch. 
42. Eine richtige Klatsche hat er da kassiert, aber sei sehr motiviert heute. Natürlich auch bessere Darts zu zeigen. Im ersten Leg ist ihm das auch mehr als nur gelungen. Aber im zweiten Leg kann er bisher nicht ganz so daran anknüpfen. Ein wenig schwächer jetzt vom Niveau, aber immer noch natürlich 60. noch meckern auf hohem Niveau. Aber Manuel De Frede kommt jetzt auch 128. besser rein. Trifft hier auch zweimal Triple 18. Starke Aufnahme von Manuel. 128 Punkte. Stellt sich also auf 90 Punkten, Punkte Rest. Klasse gemacht vom Deutschen. Möchte sich also 60. hier sein Anwurf direkt 90. wieder zurückholen. Ja, und da hat er schon wieder die Triple 18. Die hat er jetzt aber 72. gebucht. Doppel 9 James für ihn. Require 130. Verpasst er aber nur ganz knapp. Wilkinson, High Finish. Noch möglich. Triple 20? Nein, der ist 49. weit von der Manuel Triple 20 weg. 18. Nach der letzten Pfeil. Game shot in the second leg. Manuel de Freire. Ist nicht drin, aber Manuel Third de Freire holt sich hier dieses Game zweite on. Leg. Stark gemacht vom Deutschen. 100. Und, ja, der Average vom ersten Leg natürlich so nicht bestätigbar von Wilkinson. Das wäre dann schon eine Überraschung 42. gewesen, hätte er hier weiterhin über 100 gespielt. Aber immer noch eine starke Partie. Nun aber De Vrede definitiv ebenfalls mit drin. Und die Triple gehen so ein wenig verloren momentan bei Wilkinson. Da muss er schauen, dass er bald 41. mal wieder eine Triple mitnehmen kann, sonst wird es dann schwierig. Oh, schöne Ansicht hier mit der begehrten Trophäe im Hintergrund. 44. Die will heute natürlich jeder gewinnen. Ich sag's gerne noch einmal. 2000 Schweizer Franken oben drauf zur gigantischen 45. Trophäe schon fast. Ich nehme es Wunder, wie der Gewinner diese dann mit nach Hause bringt. Respektiv auch diese dann ausstellen tut. Aber 100. Definitiv wird das schön sein, die Trophäe in den Himmel zu stemmen. Da bin ich überzeugt davon. Aber 87. die beiden Herren, die haben noch einen weiten Weg vor sich, wenn sie heute den Turnier sich mitnehmen möchten. Aber Wilkinson geht hier schon einmal in die richtige Richtung, in diesem Lag zumindest. Ja, starker Switch auch auf die 19 runter. Stellt sich also auf 60. James, you require ein 62. sehr machbares Finish. 62 Punkte stehen noch beim Engländer. Game shot in the third leg. Wahrscheinlich James Wilkinson. 16. Oh, ja, da third leg ist Manuel for first gesehen, Oder ich Game zumindest on. nicht. Triple 10 für die Doppel 16 war das. Ganz, ganz starke Kombi vom 16. Engländer. Zum 2 zu 1. Also bisher alles der Reihe nach. Klasse Leg vom Engländer. 40. Auch Sechste, der spielt hier sein Darts, das was er kann, respektiv nie, noch nicht ganz das, 97. was er kann. Dann kann er definitiv auch über 70 spielen. Aber man muss natürlich auch sagen, wenn du plötzlich an diesem Liveboard spielst, dann sieht natürlich das 58. Ganze auch wieder ganz anders aus. Da ist vielleicht der Druck dann schon noch mal höher. Respektive auch den Druck oder die Erwartung, die man an 44. sich selbst hat, im Stream gut zu spielen. Denn du weißt ja auch, die Highlights, die kannst du dir dann nachher noch anschauen und dir schauen natürlich auch hunderte Personen 41. zu. Also das natürlich noch einmal eine zusätzliche Motivation, hier gut aufzuspielen. 60. Forty. Eighty-five. Beide relativ im Gleichschritt unterwegs bisher. Leichte Vorteile beim Engländer, aber noch gar nichts entschieden hier. Ja, starker Switch von De Frede. Stellt sich ein Finish. 150 Punkte, dreimal Bullseye. Wäre doch noch 45. etwas, Manuel, was man so machen könnte, wenn man vielleicht Jochen Graudenz heißt, aber natürlich nicht ein 
Normaler Weg, den man fahren wird. James, you require 130. Guter letzter Pfeil. Rettet sich mit dieser 95. Gerade noch so. Achtung, Will Kinsen. Doppel 5. Manuel, you require 55. Ganz, ganz knapp vorbei vom Engländer. Game short in the fourth wow, leg. das wäre mal ein Finish gewesen. Fifth und die Rede macht es direkt besser. 2 zu 2 steht es da bereits wieder. Also, ja, weiterhin alles der Reihe nach. Aber das war doch mal die Chance 58. auf das High Finish für Wilkinson. Schade, hat er den nicht verwandeln können. 140. Und die Frede. Starker Start hier jetzt auch in dieses fünfte Leg. Der möchte es dem Engländer jetzt 100. wohl so richtig zeigen. Beflügelt nach diesem 2 zu 2 Ausgleich. In der Round 2, also der Runde der letzten 64. 81. Weiterhin First to 4 Legs. Wie ihr auch im Scoreboard seht. 140. Wir bekommen leider nicht ganz so viele Legs zu sehen zwischen den beiden Herren. 41. Aber maximal sieben Stück. Das ist doch auch schon einmal eine gute Zahl. Ja, James und Matt. 59. James, you require 100. Die meisten kennen einige wahrscheinlich ja, vom kommentatoren -Duo. Die beiden haben ja schon einige Turniere diese Saison kommentiert hier 134. auf YouTube auf Kanal. Also falls ihr euch gefragt habt, was waren das für Engländer? Hier einer der beiden, James Wilkinson und Matt Travis ebenfalls 81. am Turnier mit dabei. James, you require 24. 100% sicher, ob Game er noch in the James Wilkinson. War auf jeden Fall ebenfalls in der Kaufphase. Frau Wilkinson Game dreht hier wieder auf und... Verwandelt den Pfeil ins Doppel 3 zu 2. Aber die Frede scheint hier gar nicht ans Aufgeben zu denken. 140 Punkte hier wieder für den Deutschen. Und jetzt wieder Travis gefragt. Äh, Wilkinson, sorry. Ah, richtig starker Switch auf die 19 runter. 80. Ja, die beiden Engländer, die supporten die STC wirklich 25. immer und immer wieder. Sehr, sehr cool, was die beiden für uns auch tun. Nicht nur durch das Kommentieren, auch heute wieder an den Ehrungen, an den Awards, die verteilt wurden an Spielerinnen und Spieler. Auch da 85. die beiden Engländer wieder im Einsatz. Wirklich sehr, sehr cool, was die beiden leisten. Und auch am um, Okay, können sie ja wirklich so einiges. Also wir sehen es hier. James Wilkinson, 80er Average, bisher über 5 Legs. 46. Also das kann sich Manuel definitiv 167. ebenfalls sehen lassen. Auch wenn dieses Lag jetzt ja wieder ein wenig schwächer ist. Nichtsdestotrotz, bisher wirklich 91. ein starkes Spiel. Ja, und Manuel de Frede. Guter Switch auf die Triple 17 runter. 59. 76 Manuel, you require Punkten, 76. ein Finish übrig. Dass man in drei Pfeilen ohne Probleme checken kann, auch ohne Triple. 36. 16. James, you require 167. Tops. Verpasst aber hier. Und somit müsste es das zweithöchstmögliche Finish werden für 27. James Wilkinson. Manuel, you require 40. Aber definitiv nicht hier. Keine gute Aufnahme. Und somit werden wir aller Wahrscheinlichkeit nach. Game short in the sixth leg. leg. Manuel de Frede. Und so ist Seventh es. Manuel de Frede checkt so die Doppel 10. Game on. Und somit gehen wir rein ins Deciding Lag zwischen James Wilkinson und Manuel de Frede. Klasse Spiel bisher. 24. Wer kommt weiter? Wir werden es in den nächsten Minuten sehen. Oh, ganz, ganz schwacher Start von Wilkinson. 100. Bleibt hier beinahe stehen mit den 24 Punkten. Das tut natürlich weh in einem so wichtigen Moment. 60. Da wird er sich ärgern, sollte es für ihn nicht eine Runde weitergehen. Aber hier ist noch lange nichts entschieden, oh, aber das ist natürlich wie ein, eine Faust ins Gesicht, diese 140. 85. Manuel de Frede dreht hier ordentlich am Gaspedal. 
Ihm 42. fehlen nur noch 261 Punkte zum Einzug in die nächste Runde. 36. Bei Wilkinson, da geht nichts mehr. Da geht nichts mehr beim Engländer. Es sieht alles danach aus, als ob der Deutsche hier in die nächste Runde einziehen wird. Eine sehr umkämpfte Partie zwischen den beiden. Aber man muss da definitiv auch sagen, Manuel de Frede war immer eiskalt auf den Doppel. Und 85. Manuel, you require 140. Würde sich da definitiv auch verdientermaßen durchsetzen. 60. Aber es ist ja noch nicht so weit. Mit einer starken Aufnahme könnte er sich da vielleicht noch einmal zurück ins Gespräch bringen. 59. Da müsste Manuel jetzt aber mindestens ein Drittel 80. mit dabei sein, was es nicht ist. Nein, das ist zu wenig Druck. Manuel de Frede wird hier am Match Shot. bekommen. Game Shot, Match for Manuel für den de Deutschen. Und der Erste sitzt, jawohl. Und das tut natürlich weh für den Engländer, aber umso schöner für den Deutschen. Der freut sich hier richtig. Natürlich, richtig, richtig starkes Spiel von ihm. 71er Average für den Deutschen. 75 war es sogar bei Wilco. Es hat aber nicht sein sollen. Hatte nicht das Timing, was der Deutsche gehabt hatte. Im letzten Leg vor allem, da war er da, holt sich das Break und gewinnt somit diese Partie 4 zu 3. Packendes Spiel zwischen den beiden. Richtig, richtig stark. Da freuen wir uns doch auf die nächsten Partien. Bis dahin schalte ich mich nochmal aus und ich würde sagen, in gut 10 bis 15 Minuten sollte dann auch die nächste Partie weitergehen. Also bis gleich.
So, herzlich willkommen zurück bei den SDC Tour Finals. Die nächste Runde steht bereits wieder an. Sven Gewalt gegen Felix Schiert. Eine packende Partie sollte uns erwarten. Jetzt auch zu zweit hier im Stream zusammen mit James Wilkinson. Er wird auf Englisch kommentieren, ähm, damit ihr ja auch beide Sichten habt, beide Sprachen habt. James, up to you. Let's Introduce yourself again. <laughs> Hi everyone, how are we doing? It's going to be an exciting game here today. We've got Felix Schertz and uh, yeah, Hearts. How do you see this one going? Um, for um, Gewalt, Smith or for Felix? Felix or Gerhardt, yeah. Who do you think is going to win? I think Felix, but uh, it will be close game. I think it'll be a close game as well. And, and it's uh, first to five now. Or still the first of four? Still I'm first, not sure. Still first of four. Uh, first leg on the is Felix now, to four while first. Mark gets it all game set up. One. I think, obviously, so my regular co commentator, Matt Travis, just huh? played uh, Sven Gewalt. 85. Right. And he just lost 4 2. Mm. Tough game for him there. But yeah. I think if, if Matt Travis is getting close, I think uh, Felix Schiert should be fine. 
98. Uh, should be, but <laughs> we, we don't know. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we can, can't see the screen at the moment. I hope uh, Mark will show us uh, 43. The I will say 4 2 for Felix. Also, my tip 4 to 2 for Felix. I'm also going to go for 4 2 to Felix. Okay. I think it's been a while since we've seen Sven go out playing in the tournaments for the SDC. We saw I the doubles. So he was yeah. in the doubles tournament, obviously got to the final. I'm not sure if it has played another one. The 55. No. Did he? I'm not 100% sure he has. I think this is his first tournament. This is the first time I've seen him on stream since the doubles yeah. tournament in uh, Schaffhausen. I'm always confused because of Sven Geiger and Sven <laughs> Gewalt. I was mixing them up. Both, both great darts. Yeah, 45. Well, yeah. That's why. Um, no, I'm not sure. I think I have to talk Mark uh, that he has to show us the screen. Otherwise, it will be a <laughs> little bit difficult. Um, yeah. 100. Or is he switching? Let's see, apologies if you are currently viewing this. 60. He's trying to get the scoreboard up, but he's uh, forgotten that he's not showing the screen. Um, it's 85. It's for... One hundred. Felix, you require 133. Fifty-nine. Sven, you require one hundred and fifty-two. So we're back here at SDC Tour Finals. I'm joined now by Matt Travis. Lauren temporarily uh, has left the stream. One hundred. Uh, my old commentator partner, Matt. Obviously, you've just played Sven Gavalt. He's starting now against Felix Schiertz. How yeah. do you see the game going? Yeah, I'm excited by this game, James. Yes. Good luck to Sven Gavolt, first and foremost. Um, game shot in the first leg. Just knocked me out of biggest tournament in Twist starting Second history, so good luck to him. First. I was a little bit of a bitter game loser, on. I have to admit. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't too gracious in defeat there, but it's a big game. It's a big occasion, so um, I'm cheering on. I'm cheering on that man, Sven Gavolt. I think Felix has got a little bit too much quality for him, Multi if I'm honest. Yeah, um, Felix obviously taking the opening leg there yeah. in uh, what looks to be 20 darts. Uh, very steady start, and, and you can't really complain about that, can you? You can't, no. One hundred and forty. Um, obviously, Felix won the ball off, so advantage of throw. Yeah. And starts Tom Forty in the <laughs> in the uh, second leg there. I mean, we're obviously talking behind the scenes. Obviously, I've just played on that streaming board, and the one thing that I said to you a minute ago is how hot it is after six legs. Oh, yeah. I, I played for six legs of darts to, to the utmost quality, and then just let 96. it slip away at the end. Um, yeah, you talked about the bright lights. It's certainly in the in the main in the main hall. It's it's very hot. It's very humid. I mean, we're we're nearly six o'clock Swiss time now. There's been darts going on for you know close to ten hours in that that playing room. It's it's a very hot, humid environment to uh, to bring out your best best game and, and to concentrate fully on the on the darts. Do you think it's going to be uh, when you get to this stage in the competition, the distance that people have travelled to get here exactly. is going to make a difference? Yeah. The, the local people. A, a bit more favoured, maybe, in the German players like yeah. Sven Gewalt, yeah. travelling a bit further. We talked about this last night, didn't we? The, the, the qualities that are needed to win a long tournament like this. And a lot of it is mental, isn't it? It's mental strength. It's resistance to fatigue. I mean, both players at this point will, you know, they've played plenty of darts. Six 25. hours, eight hours today. They need that mental strength. You can't afford to slip up for one second today. I mean, yeah. if you play badly for one game, you're out. I mean, you're cold for five minutes. That's goodbye, isn't it? We both played today. Five, four, five games. Yeah. We've, we've both won four very comfortably, yeah. and then you 55. can't forget one opponent that just plays a good leg. Yeah. You're out. 83. Yeah. If you feel the heat for five minutes, you know you can be two nil down, three nil down, which you know Sven Gavolt already here might be looking at a, a two nil, uh, two nil deficit. Yeah. So when you oh, Felix, yeah, 85. he won't leave double sixteen. Sven Gavolt on eighty five. Your darts from Felix thirty two after fifteen. So I'll need a three dart combo here to get this game back level. Sixty-seven. Felix, you require thirty-two. Ever so tense at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite for Sven Gavalt. Misses double eighteen mm -hmm. by the looks of things. Game short in the Felix, second. Yes, Felix, thirty-two. 
third leg is Felix or yeah, first? Uh, game that's on. it. Two, two nil to Felix. I was just going to say about Bat Sven's throw. I mean, obviously, I, I, I played him in the previous round. He's he's got an unorthodox throwing style. I'd say the the angle of entry into the board is is quite unusual. He's very he's a stacking player. I when his first starts low with the drill to Andy bed, that's when you worry that he's going to you know stack above and hit those tons and ton forties, which. You know, it's, it's unorthodox in the game of darts, isn't it, James? You don't see too many players that sort of stack their darts on top of each other like 100. that. 100. Robert Owen being one. He reminds me yeah. a little bit of the, the right-handed Robert Owen, the way his darts into the board, the opposite angle to Robert Owen. Yeah. Um, we've lost quite a few big names today so far. We've lost Matthias Yoss, yeah. Frieda Lang, yeah. James Wilkinson. Frieda Lang, of course, our, our most improved player over the 22-23 season. Um Apologies, Frida, if you're listening for being nominated for the Young Player of the Year award. You are a young man at heart. Thirty. But you slipped my mind in the uh, in the age criteria for that one. Stefan Belmont losing his first leg of the day today. Really? Who did he lose it to? His old man Ronnie Liu. <laughs> Ronnie Liu. One hundred and thirty-four. Capable of big averages, Ronnie Liu. He's more than capable of an upset. And here we are, pictures back. Sven Gavolt. Fifty-eight. Can now keep you even more informed than we were previously there. 100. Really nice throw of Felix there, isn't it? He's been playing on the board next to me all day, James. So I've had a, I've had a good watch of a couple of Felix's games. Hasn't been troubled in the group stages. The last round is quite an interesting one because the, the way the tournament sets up is if you play the player who's playing on the board next to you yes. in the last 64. Yes, that's true. So I had a, a very good look at Manuel de Vrida throughout the whole day and and I could see his energy was high, his 59. darts were good. And I don't know if it almost got in my head a little bit as well before we played, because you, you play on the board after playing a long day of darts. And yeah, he, his energy was good and great 80 check to him. And, and best of luck to him in the next 57. round as well. It's hard not to notice the, the quality you know, that's surrounding you, isn't it, in, in an arena like this? I mean, your mind obviously wanders between games and, and while you're scoring, etc., cetera, on, on the, the boards next to you. 54. See, I've seen a lot of Felix shirts today. I've seen a lot of commiseratory heads shaking his hand. Left 68 there, but there's going to be a Volt. chance. Yeah, Svengevolt's got a chance here. Can he pop tops? Game shot in the yes, first round. Beautiful. Gevold. A little bit of a booyah there Gevold from Svengevolt as he checks that 120 game finish. On. 18 dart break. And he's back in the game. Two stone walls of the STC on board 28 at the moment. Sven Hoffman currently 2 0 down to Joel Brighton Moser. How do you price that one up? That's an exciting game, isn't it? Obviously, uh, congratulations to Sven Hoffman. He won our Young Player of the Year award for the 22 23 season. Congratulations, Sven. He's, he's brought quite a contingent with him today. I don't know if you've he noticed this. Yeah. A, a venue that's supposed to be quite quiet and, and eerie almost yeah. when you come in. But then Sven yeah. Hoffman's crowd, you can hear them a mile away yeah. every time you check a leg. Sven Hoffman got just about the largest round of applause out of any of the award winners today, didn't he? He certainly brought a little entourage for, for that moment. He did indeed. Jochen Graudens losing a leg. Getting a bit cagey. Still a lot of darts to be played, remember, James? I mean, this is only the last 32. It is indeed. 140. We've still got four more knockout rounds after this one. How do we think about Rocco Fulcinita going out last round with a 74 average? Not, not a... Wow. I'm sorry, not even in the last round. In the last one to eight. One to eight. We have both gone further than Rocco Fulcinita, James. Things I didn't think we'd be saying this morning. No, I know. 80. We spoke to Rocco a little bit today, didn't we? He was, he was excited about today. He, you know, we talked to him about his chances of, uh, of World Cup participation, obviously, for Switzerland. Yeah, next he week. excited about that. Next week, obviously, a huge event. Yeah. But he'll certainly be but disappointed by today, won't he? He won't be feeling great going into next week, I don't think. Yeah, who do you guys in the comments want to play in the World Cup for Switzerland? Stefan Belmont already secured yeah. his place, but next week we have the inaugural yeah. qualification opportunity for a player from Switzerland to play. I think it's just over a month now until the World Cup of Darts gets underway. So, Does Felix Schiertz have an opportunity, do you think? With darts like this, James, you'd have to you'd have 59. to count him in, wouldn't you? He's averaging 80, Felix, you require 80 after 44. the four legs here. The quality on the streaming boards is getting better yeah. and better and yeah. better. I thought I played a good game in that last last match, and these guys are just showing me that how yeah. amateur my darts are. Game shot in the fourth. Imagine those darts up, averages a few points up, and that's Fifth a fourteen dart Felix break for Felix Shears. He's averaging game eighty-five. On. Great performance there from Felix. Andy Bless two 0 up on Rock Bahor, uh, a player that Interesting I've, game. I played earlier today. Good player. Yeah, he was the seeded player in your group, of course, wasn't he, James? He was. Yeah, he's played well today, Rock. Um, 
I think he was off his off his best against me. Uh, there's no doubt about that, but he has played a good game today. See uh, a good start here for Felix Scherz. It's three one now, and he's he's 60. almost there. Yeah. My yeah, opponent. away from the last round, really showing some true quality now. Manuel De Vrida averaging 79, 3-2 up on Patrick Earhart. 60. Yeah. Good result for Patrick Earhart. Last 60, uh, last 30 team. I'd say you should be pleased with his day's work. 77 average at the moment, though. I think you could keep going. Oof. Not out of that one just yet. He's 60. not out just yet. Marcel Walpen could be through. 3-0 up on Daniel Eismiger. Who was that, James? Marcel Valpen. Marcel Valpen, yes, indeed. 100. Could be the end of the road for Daniel Gart, averaging 53 and on his way out to Michael Poshka. No embarrassment getting to the last 32. Daniel Garter, can we have a look at his averages, James, in the previous couple of rounds? He's, 60. He's certainly a name you don't expect getting to the, well, two knockout rounds deep. That's impressive from Daniel Garter. Is indeed. Ha hasn't been averaging the highest today. 43. 46s, 50s. Okay. okay. But, but three wins in the group, averaging 50. But when players like Rocco exit in the 1-2-8, the draw can open up in certain segments, can't it? It's, it's opportunity for players like Daniel. The one thing is here, when, when you've got a tournament of 256 players 164. in and these players aren't playing every week, yeah, the seeded players aren't necessarily the best 36, 32 players in the competition. I think, for example, Manuel De Vrida is, is in the top 16 players here yeah. comfortably. Yeah. Comfortably, I was really impressed with his darts when I played him a minute ago, and I'm really impressed with his attitude as well. And then you've got other players as well, like Fried Lang, obviously going out, like Tommy Volchnik from Felix Slovenia, still in the competition, two one down currently. But even our, our, I was going to say our compatriot, but our Scottish friend, they're still in the competition, of course. Can we see Felix Shirts yeah, clean up here at one twenty and put that high eighty average game shot and a match shot for Felix Shirts. That's the icing on the cake of a brilliant performance from Schertz. Comfortable 4-1 victor there over Sven Gewalt. He'll be really impressed with his darts there. 84 average, 76 average for Sven Gewalt. Yeah. Really impressive stuff. The, the, the quality is getting better and better. Sven Hoffman holding in there against Joel Breitenmoser. 3-1. I'd put Joel Breitenmoser as a slight favourite going into that game, wouldn't you? It's a, it's a very 50-50 game. That's the first winner we've had of this round. See there in the background, Edith Pramoyski yeah. ex exiting in the last round. Of course, we always like to get stream games that are going to be close, going to be tight, going to be nip and tuck. That one, maybe not quite so much. Sven Gvold didn't quite put up the challenge to Felix Schertz like, uh, like maybe he was hoping. But an enjoyable game nonetheless. For those wondering whether Stefan Belmont is going to go down to Ronnie Liu, I think those... Stefan Belmont fans will be happy. He's very comfortable now, averaging 86. Andy Bless flying through into the last 16 there, beating Rock Bahor 4 0. Manuel De Vrida can't come two, two from two on the last leg to Siders. He's just gone out in the following round. Whoa. Slightly disappointed there, I think, Manuel. 3 2 up against Patrick Elhart. Hmm. Plenty of interesting results coming in thick and fast now, aren't they? So he's not had a great game today, I don't think. It's Jochen Graudens, but he's looking like he's going to have yeah. a little bit too much for Lucas Dalman. We were talking about this in the group stage as well, James. When was the last time Graudens lost a group stage game? It has something been you, a while. Something you really don't see, but... Such was the case today for Graudens. Indeed. Just a quick word on the venue, James. You can see in your, in your shop there the sort of uh, the foyer that uh, is leading you into the, the Grand Hall here in Thun. What's your thoughts on, on Thun as a place, James, and the venue that we're the venue that we're playing at today, the KK Thun Arena? It's, it's very quiet, very eerie town. Very nice, though. It got very family wholesome vibes. Um, incredible setup there by the STC, I must say. It's the first tournament I've been to for a while, and the setup just gets better and better yeah. and better. Yeah, we were down here last night, of course, weren't we? Seeing some of those those preparations to make it what it is today, you know, real hard work going on behind the scenes, wasn't there, to to make it as uh, as brilliant a spectacle as it's been? Of course, thirty two playing boards in the main hall, our live stream board here, and a couple of practice boards just around the corner. The darts draw is really opening up for some players at the moment. It's looking a bit like uh, Sven Hoffman is on his way out. Four scored there. Almost seems like he's thrown his darts away in the last visit. Bit disappointing for Sven. Against Joel Bright Moser, yeah. Good to see Joel coming back strong in our, our final event of the season. I mean, we know he's had some health issues in the last, I suppose, couple of months. Hasn't really been at his best, has he, in the last few tour events? But great to see him back in the, back in the form and back in the money. 
Very much so. Rock Pahor can be proud of his efforts against Andy Bless. 72 average, but not quite enough to. 72 is no disgrace, is it? Not enough to come through Andy Bless. 4-0 loss there. Really looking forward to seeing Andy Bless on the stream a little bit later. I am as well. Of course, that man in the background there, Marcel Walpen. He's got a long day of darts ahead, I'm sure. Lucas Dalman putting up a bit of fight against Jochen Graudens there. 66 average at the moment. 3-2 down. The Joel Brighton Moser now has three darts in hand at tops to send home our young player of the season, Sven Hoffman. Will he find it? You suspect he's got he's got six, really. Hoffman's still on a three-figure checkout. Interesting to see if he can pop this. And he does pop it. First start in hand. Joel Brighton Moser, incredible season and really, really yeah. showing his quality yeah. today. Yeah, I'm pleased he's he's doing well, James. Yeah. One of the nice guys, isn't he, of the SDC? Indeed. And Ronnie Luce taking the second leg of, of uh, Stefan Belmont and throws a 180 as well Woo! on his own throw. So he is 3-2 down, but he's he's still in there, he's still in there scrapping, isn't he? Lou's not out of this game by any stretch of the imagination. He he could definitely take this to a last leg to side and really say to Stefan Belmont, if you want to win this, yeah. show me you're the best player yeah. in Switzerland. Yeah. A ton from Ronnie Lee now. Mm, three big numbers, but one, two, four Belmont, ninety-six Lou. Can Belmont pop that one, two, four? It'd be interesting to see. All the scores and results obviously on Darts Connect at the moment. Jackie Julie there, you can see in the background. I think he, he's now being eliminated as well. Stefan Belmont wires the ball. Ronnie Liu at 96 to take it to a last leg decider. Would be really quite something if he could pull the upset over mm -hmm. Stefan Belmont. Oh, he gets Darts. He gets Darts at double, does Ronnie Liu. To send it to a decider, but can't convert. I wonder what he's done there to leave 14. Hmm. On 96, yeah. Unsure. Will Stefan Belmont send home Ronnie Liu? He will indeed. Stefan Belmont showing a bit too much quality, putting himself through into the last 16 now, getting to the really to the latter stages of these tournaments. It's getting interesting. Jochen Graudens through, Felix Schiertz through, Joel Brighton Moser through, Patrick Elhart through, Walpen through. Matthias Lufner through, Andy Blast through, and obviously Sven Geiger. Incredible day for Sven Geiger oh, yeah. again. Yeah. He's a player that really does sneak under the radar, isn't he? Um, but a really talented darts player, Sven Geiger. Not that sure if he's using his signature pink flights today. I don't think he is. I didn't see the signature pink flights, but it'd be interesting to see. I've been really impressed with uh, the uh, Slovakian Tommy Vilnic today. Playing well. Have you seen the Vilnich throw? Have you, have you seen him play today, James? I don't think he's a name that I'm, I've am i seen today. I've not seen him play. I've just been looking at his results. His results have been incredible so far.
Welcome back to SDC Tour Finals. We're down to the last 16 players from across Europe who are here in Switzerland for the largest tournament in Swiss darts history. That man on your screen is still in the competition and we will be watching him now up against Patrick Ellert. How do you think he's going to get on, Trav? Of course, if you don't know this man by now, you're tuning into the wrong YouTube live stream. That is Marcel Walpen. He's a two-time award winner today. Player's player and player of the season for the SDC award ceremony that we had today. Yeah, he's had a good run today, hasn't he? He's certainly uh, excited for this tournament. This is the one he wants to win. Um, he wants to go into in a good vein of form into the Swiss World Cup darts qualifier next week. Quite emotional today, wasn't he? About it was very emotional, it? yeah. He, I guess it's sort of bringing home to him the success that he's had throughout the last 12 months. You know, he's a six-time SDC champion. Um, looking to make that a seventh today here in the in the tour finals. This is the big one, of course. Biggest tournament in Swiss starting history. 256 players. It's still incredible. Doesn't that sound uh, good? Yeah. When we were doing that awards today, seeing the to seeing the 256 players in front of us, it was, you know, really something, wasn't it? And Marcel Walpen obviously felt felt it as well. So the draws obviously opened up for some and been difficult for some as well. Should we, should we preview the last 16? Yeah, let's do it. That's I guess that's the look of the draw. <laughs> as you say, if seeds are falling, which we mentioned a couple. So at the top of the draw, we've got Alexander Zivanovic and Stefan Hackler. Oh, good game. Zivanovic hasn't been at his best today, I wouldn't say, but Hackler's always a tricky opponent, isn't he, in these these later knockout rounds. I'm, I'm going to say Hackler's going to come through that one. I think Hackler's going to win that one as yeah. well. Yannick Etter against Dominic Fink. Dominic having a very strong yeah, group Dominic stage. Fink. Yeah, he, he's a name that caught my eye today as well, James. Yeah, keep your eye on him. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. And then we've obviously got Sven Geiger against Scottish Barry Nelson. Yeah. Didn't see any Scottish flags flying today, but um, I'm sure there'll be a couple in the in the YouTube comments if Barry's to win that one. Sven Geiger's been very Sven impressive. Sven Geiger's a good player, yeah, very good player. Obviously, a, a man that we've not seen so far today, and I've actually only caught eyes with him once today. Andy Bless still in the competition, up against yeah. Matthias Lüfner. I've seen him with his headphones on, walking around the venue. He's, he's very much keeping to himself today, Andy. He's, maybe he's got some surprises in those in those headphones or up those sleeves, who knows? We've obviously got this game then on stream. His next Marcel Walpen and, and Patrick Ellett. Going to be a good game this one. Yeah. Patrick, this lad I here. I haven't seen a lot of Patrick of you. I mean, obviously, we're getting our first look at his throw now. So the, the nice man looking that throw. Me, for those who have been watching the stream, Manuel De Vrida went out in a last leg decider to this Patrick Ellert. Patrick averaging uh, just shy of 80, I believe. So uh be an interesting That's one. enough to it's enough to challenge Marcel Wolf, and he'll certainly, certainly be wary of this newcomer. Michael Poshka against Martin Stefan Fentz. Martin Stefan Fentz has uh, obviously had a, a very little uh, interesting last... A um, couple of games, obviously beating Rocco Fortunetti in the in the top one two eight, um, and coming through against Vilchnik, who I mentioned was a, a good player as well. Interesting. Next one's obviously a big one as well. Stefan Belmont against uh, one of our favourites, Joel Brighton Moser. I can't see Joel causing him too many problems, can you? Joel's been consistently good today, but he'll need to be excellent, won't he, to really challenge Belmont. And then the big game as well, Felix Schertz against Jochen Graudenz. Oh, yeah. That's been a, a semi-final, hasn't it, in the past of some of these SDC Tour events. Of course, it's only a last 16 game today, given the size of the field and the quality we have here in Thun. And the way that Groudens has been playing today, I think I want to go for Felix to win that one. Really? Felix averaged 84 in his last game. Jochen playing Lucas Dalman, who's, who's no mean feat. Only averaging mid-60s, which he seems to have been at all day. Mm. Of course, we saw Felix... On our live stream, beats Sven Gavolt. You can see it there in the corner of your picture. Impressive average, 85. Played really well in that game, didn't he, against Sven? Bit of a crowd gathering for this game here. Marcel Walpen always brings the crowd, doesn't he? Brings the crowd wherever he goes. Got his family with him, of course, today, Marcel. Does indeed. I think I would like to see him win this one. I think it's been a, a bit of a dry spell for Marcel Walpen. And uh, Stefan Belmont has, has had enough success. <laughs> <laughs> They may be rivals at a later point today, James, but they could well be uh, allies and compatriots in the Swiss World Cup of Darts team. We've obviously made a couple of references to that, but the tournament, the qualifying tournament for that is next week to decide who will be joining Stefan Belmont, representing the red and white of Switzerland in the World Cup. It will be interesting to see, obviously. Uh, will we see a new winner today? Obviously, Stefan Belmont and, and Marcel Wolpen, but there's a lot of German players coming over yeah. who have been playing very good darts today and going somewhat under the radar. I thought Manuel de Vrida could be the one to really push the oppos, but he's not played quite his best. There's still plenty of other names. If de Vrida can't, then, then one of these others could. 
Yeah, and we're about to see. We're about to split the men from the boys. Yeah. For all of those tuning in, we are down to the last 16. And all will be shown on this stream coming up. A quarterfinal, a semi-final, and a final. Got 110 viewers with us on YouTube. Hoping to increase that number throughout the day. Excited for this one, James. I'm just, just going to ask you for a little, little prediction. What do you think? What's your score prediction for this game? I think Marcel's going to be a little bit too strong. I'm going to go 4-2. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to go 4-0, Marcel Walpen. I think we're going to see the best from Marcel. You know, he's been uh, he's been prowling around the streaming board today. Obviously, he hasn't played a game on, on this board yet. But he loves to be the centre of attention, doesn't he? I think when all eyes are on Marcel, that's when you see the, the best version of him. So I'm going to go 4-0, Marcel Walpen. Yannick Ludi was unfortunately on the losing end of Marcel Walpen's 104 average today. I don't know if you saw <laughs> that on that. It wasn't the only 100 plus average today, was it, James? Sven, Sven Geiger. Geiger, yeah, in the group stages. Sometimes difficult against weaker opponents, isn't it, to uh, to average those those real big numbers. I really struggled in the group stage today. I don't know about you. It's, it's a different feel in the group stage to the knockout. I feel like in the knockout you kind of get going. The group stage you struggle. Yeah, it, it's hard, isn't it? You don't quite know when you're playing, and then you you're chalking for a little bit, and then you're playing again. It's yeah, it's hard to establish that rhythm. At least in knockout darts, you know you're on. You know which board. You know it's round after round after round. I think you can prepare yourself a little bit better, can't you, for for the, the certainties of knockout knockout play. Here we're about to get underway. Yeah, we're gonna have the bull off now. Let's see who wins this one. Take us away, Mark. Outside. Will Mark? That's showing us the yeah, <laughs> correct correct pitches here. <laughs> So first, first leg is Marcel to fall first, first game Elhart. on. We've obviously commentated on Marcel Walpen plenty of times over the course of the year, but just going to ask you for, for your opinion of his throw, James. Obviously, we haven't seen his complete entry to the board yet in his grouping, but there's a 60. silky smooth throw from Marcel Walpen. Very steady. Yeah. There's a real lean, isn't there, 119. It's my first impressions. There we go, we've got the board now. We have. But he looks to have a real controlled grip, doesn't he? he? seems to have a real smooth release of the dart, Patrick. One thing I've noticed with Marcel Walpen, has he changed his points, 59. Maybe? Hmm. What darts do you think that those are that he's using, James? You usually love commentating on this, this kind of thing. Patrick's darts, do you recognise the style of those? 100. I'm going to zoom in on the, <laughs> the Walpen points. Very steady start for Marcel there. 40. Not too sure what start, start of darts they are. So it does seem to be slightly bulbous towards the end, which, which suits some players and definitely some not. Players that spring to mind like Nathan Aspinall, Christo Reyes, uh, somewhat Phil Taylor as well, maybe. <laughs> 171. Marcel, you require 119 in the early part of Phil's the treble 19 segment to That's really get a leg on here. His fifth treble 19 of the leg. It wow. is indeed. More treble 19s and treble 20s. 60. Walton, just looking to leave I double eight. I think you require 112. So Would you consider yeah. going for treble 19s to leave double 18? I don't think he will start on the 19s, but... Certainly 94. Open, leaves double Marcel, 18. you require Ooh, 56. Just inside. Just inside there. That was for a 15 dart break, James. Bit of pressure. Yeah, Walton will be the first leg. Yeah, he's got two the tops. Boom. Second leg first is dart. Patrick to throw first. One. Yeah, that'll, that'll relieve the nerves, won't it? Patrick's come out flying there when Marcel's seeing those trouble 19s flying. 100. He's bound to be a little bit nervous. He's keeping Mark and Elder on his toes, isn't he? He is indeed. Andy oh. Bless taking an opening lead. Stefan Belmont taking an opening lead. And so with Michael 140. Pusher. Interesting comment you made, James, about the, the Walpen points. I'm certainly noticing his points always used to go very deep into the board, didn't they? And there's certainly 60. points sticking out of the board today, which makes me think he's possibly gone a, a couple of millimetres longer. Are you, you thinking the same? There looks to be slightly different ribbing, I think, as well. 
on the barrel, on the, on the points. On the points. Yeah, I can't 100 percent tell. What do we also think about the my darts setup as well? It looks, <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Looks incredible 44. today. Yeah. The whole the whole setup and the yeah. whole viewpoint. You obviously don't get this from a streaming perspective, no. but when you actually look at it in the room, it looks incredible. Yeah, you are right. They aren't going as deep as they normally do. No. no. I wonder if that's a conscious thing. He's he's maybe analysed that his grouping hasn't been as tight maybe in the last couple of legs. Maybe he feels Belmont and Blast have that 180 advantage over him or that 140 advantage over him. And he's he's maybe tried to change a little bit to improve his scoring or improve his grouping, certainly. 58. 58, still still comfortably in front on this leg. He but... is on the Earhart throw, on the Earhart throw. 100 points ahead. 27. Marcel, you require 100. Spray there from Patrick. He throws at a certain tempo, which it's easy to criticise fast players when they when they're spraying to say that have they rushed starts, etc. But I don't know. To me, could he have just reassessed on that final dart? 44. Well, flinging it into single four. Stefan Belmont running away with it at the moment. Two 0 up on Joel Brighton, he's averaging 86. Two trebles, but not the right ones for 56. Patrick. 56. Marcel, you require 76. This is the first time Patrick's played on the streaming board. Do you think it, it makes a difference? I think it does make a difference, James. Yeah, it's, it, don't, it only takes small things to... Double four. 68. It only takes small things. Patrick, you require you 148. Zone, I think, at a venue like this, it, it can be very slight changes in the board or the temperature or the feeling. It's, it's sometimes not always a... You know, there's not always a rhyme or reason to why we play good or bad 39. darts. 39. Marcel, Obviously, you require The streaming environment eight. is very different to the hall that he'll have been playing in all day. It's a lot brighter lights, as you said. It's a lot more spacious. There's a lot more eyes. There's a lot more noise. There's a lot more movement. Marcel Walpen. Marcel Walpen is moving to the board there to collect his double two. After sending himself 2-0 up. A miniature booyah there from Walpen. Oh, yeah. I noticed you were producing the Marcel Walpen celebration a couple of times today, James. You've maybe been uh, been practicing the Marcel Walpen celebration. Noticed a few booyahs from yourself. Yeah, it's it's one of those that I, I did feel I did have a few booyahs of you watching on stream against Manuel. I was getting rather 100. excited, but uh, unfortunately, a booyah only gets you so far. <laughs> it's no substitute for great darts, is it, James? Not at all. Good darts here from Martin Hell. Uh, Sixty. Marcel Wolpen. Yeah, I'm really liking that close-up shot on Marcel Wolpen's face <laughs> on the uh, on the right hand side. One hundred. See a close-up of Patrick there. Yeah, it's a real zoomed-in camera view we've got today, isn't it? But certainly replicating, uh, you know, a real real television setup here, isn't it, that you can see on your pictures now? It is indeed. You can see in the background, Matthias Jost is still hanging around. 60 is, yeah. <laughs> he was unfortunate. Going out 4-3. Yeah. To Patrick Ellert earlier as well. Yeah, he's, he's not at the best second 96. half of the season, has he, um, Matthias? I think Patrick and, and Matthias are very similar levels of players, I think. Uh, obviously, the throws are quite similar in this, that sense, aren't they? They're both quite fast. 140. Ooh, Almost getting off first 180 of this game. A couple on the streaming board today. We have, That's... including one from yourself, James. I know. You wanted me to mention it, and I will. Congratulations. Thank you very much. 57. So we've got a nip and tuck kind of leg here, haven't we? Marcel Walpen. Gonna say just behind 140. Well ahead. Patrick, you require 148. Could, from open. Could this be a whitewash? What do you think? Well, James, I predicted 4 0 at the start. Well, we hold our breath. Ooh, unlucky. 120. Great setup, though. Double Marcel, turn left. you require 41. If he returns. Game Marcel shot Walpen. in the third leg. In the Marcel mood Walpen. today. Double 16. Is that three from three Fourth on the outer ring for Marcel? First game I think on. it might be. I think it might be as well, yeah. He's come to play. Oh, no, he did miss one up fours earlier. Did he? On that 76 combination. 59. He missed two, actually, on fours. But very good darts, nonetheless. Yep. Brighton Mose are coming to play, taking a leg off Belmont as well. Matthias Lustner taking a leg off Andy Bless. All players 41. are playing well today. Of course, we're still at first of four in this stage. As we move through the tournament, we'll get to see longer and deeper games, hopefully, won't we? First of five, first of six. 59. First to seven, of course, in the final. Obviously, as I said, keep an eye on scores and darts connected with all your other games. We're obviously following one game per round 30. here on the streaming board. And Marcel got... angry with his start here. 40 followed by 30. 
Doesn't want to give Patrick an entry into this game. Fifteen you nine. support, please do leave it in the comments for all the different players. Who's your favourite player? I would love to know. Got 150 on YouTube now, haven't we? Great for all those watching along. Also, Warp, a bit of a slow leg here. I think he's almost thinking the job's done. As I say, 30 followed by 40, 60. James. He was, he was furious after that last, last visit. 20 and 2 rust spray darts. Got quite a crowd watching this one, haven't we? 31. All looking a little bit tense, aren't they? A little bit, little bit edgy. A couple on their phones. A couple enjoying a beverage or two. Got quite a bit of support as well for, for Cello, by the seems of it. Yeah. 96. Popular man. He is indeed. Finds his first treble of the leg after 12 darts. Patrick Elhart starting on the 19. Yeah. 57. Yeah, yeah. I suppose 133, maybe to leave 160, but... Would you say he's a bit of a first dart merchant, Patrick? Would you say that comment's fair? I think if he doesn't hit his first dart, it does seem to be a bit of a struggle for him. Yeah. He, he sort of has that, that droopy quality sort of about his throw sometimes, doesn't he? That, you know, he, he is going lower the treble an awful lot on 20s and 19s. 42. Um, typified by that first dart at 20s there. Possibly out of frustration, of course. He's, he is 3-0 down. 59. Backs to the wall, certainly. You feel like two trebles really needed here. Got to be taken out in six, this 194, because there is no way that Marcel Wolpen, I don't think, does 44. take out 134 and six. Marcel, you require 134. And 150 yeah. is probably it's not, not going to be enough. Is it? You really would back Marcel Wolpen to hit 94 here, wouldn't you? 98. Possibly the shot. Let's see what he leaves. Yeah, there it is. 18, yeah. Beautiful set of play from Walton. Leaves his favourite double 18. Patrick, you require 150. To wrap up what would be a, a really convincing performance from, from Marcel Walton and yeah, lays down a mark to your likes of Stefan Belmont who, who may be thinking this nine. You know, he's, he's had the tournament all his own way so far. Marcel, so you require 36. Marcel Walton's got anything to say about it. Will he clean it up here? Double 18. Game shot the match. and a match for there Marcel, Marcel Walton. Walton. Into the quarterfinals. Raptures of applause in the background there for a brilliant performance from Marcel. First player through. Player that's on the precipice of going through from my incorrect prediction. Jochen Ground is averaging 92, 3 0 up on Felix Pierre. <laughs> the commentator's curse strikes again. Ah, uh, maybe he's finally revealed his third dart, James. He was throwing with a lot of two dart averages early in the 60s, but he's brought that third dart into the equation. He's He's added 30 points to his average from the previous round. Andy Bless struggling a little bit. Two all currently with Matthias Lutner. Hmm. Interesting game there. Blessy in a spot of bother. Got three in hand at double nine. Will he split it maybe? I don't think he will, James. I think he'll go straight for it. Does go straight for it and pins it first off. Three, two, Andy Bless. There we have it. We've had a few more players go through. Stefan Hackler threw 4 0 over Alexander Stefanovic. Stefan Belmont threw with a 91 average over Joel Brighton Moser. Joachim Graudens, <laughs> Bagling, Felix Schertz, with an 87 average. If you're Felix, you're feeling hard done by there, aren't you? You've averaged in the 80s and you haven't won a leg. Indeed. He averaged 84 and managed to cruise through his previous game on the live stream. But Next game, I think, is uh, Stefan Belmont against Joachim Graudens. What a game that will be. <laughs> For any Bull 12 Bull fanatics, you'll be really <laughs> excited for that one. Good mention, James. That, of course, won our Moment of the Season award for the SDC season this year. If you haven't checked out that Bull 12 Bull moment, you need to see it. I believe it's the pinned tweet on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm sure you won't miss it. Jochen Grounen's doing his thing. So, can we have a little preview of the quarterfinals here, James? How are the uh, how are the next contests looking? So, looking at it now on Darts Connect, we obviously have Stefan Hackler is through. And he'll play the winner of Yannick Etter and Dominic Fink. Oh, OK. Unfortunately, Darts Connect is being a little bit slow for us, so okay. we can't see the results of that one. Uh, and same with Sven Geiger, Barry Nelson. We don't know who's coming through that one. Oh, OK. Like the winner of that will face Andy Bless, who's currently 3-2 up on Matthias Lutner. OK. Then we've got Marcel Walpen is playing the winner of Michael Porschka and Martin Sven Fent, who obviously was the victor over Rocco Fortunetti and looks like he's going to go through 
with 69 average at the moment. Mm. Still a couple of players we're a little bit unfamiliar with, aren't we? Still a couple of players we you know, haven't seen, aren't maybe established players on the SDC circuit, but that's where the excitement is created, isn't it? When you've got some, some new players, some, some renegades, so to speak. Indeed. We'll be back shortly for the quarterfinals. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to the quarterfinals of SDC Tour Finals. Here we've got two very familiar players that we've seen before, Jochen Graudens and Stefan Belmont. Jochen Graudens previously beating Stefan Belmont with that famous ball 12 ball finish that earned him the title of moment of the SDC season. Crowd gathered to watch this one. We're surely in for a treat. Trav, how do you see this game going? Well... It's a first of four leg contest, we believe, which really, given the quality of these two players, you'd want to see more, wouldn't you? But if you have to press me for a result, Stefan Belmont's looked nigh on unbeatable today, hasn't he? I'm going to say 4 2, Stefan Belmont. Um, but of course, Groudon's put, put 25 points on his average in the last knockout game. So, you know, we said Groudon's may, maybe a little, you know, not at his best, you know, today in Thun, but. He certainly turned that around in the last game, so really is anyone's game, isn't it, James? Both players are capable of, of blowing the other away. I think it's just a little bit more likely that that comes from Stefan Belmont. So let's just preview the, all the knockout games. Stefan Hackler against Dominic Fink. Stefan Hackler not been at his best today. I think mid, lots of mid-60s, low-60s. Not, not been playing too well, but, but has done the right things at the right time and, and put himself yeah. into that quarterfinals. Great to see an inaugural member of the SDC there. Obviously, he's been a, a player since almost day one, hasn't he, Stefan Hackler? 
great to see him being, you know, represented in the latter end of the tournament. Someone who, you know, obviously has the SDC very close to his heart. Dominic Fink, obviously coming through on his his debut here as well. Uh, he'll be he'll be proud of his performance here. Certainly in- will. Yeah, he can be very happy with his with his day's work. Obviously, then the next game, another another classic. Sven Geiger against Andy Bless. Yeah. How do you see that game going? Well, we were debating which game would get on our stream, whether these two quality performers would almost be outmatched by Sven Geiger and Andy Bless. Um, I think Andy Bless will have a little bit too much scoring power, but I do really like Sven Geiger. I think he's a really good player. Um, but Bless, he just sneaks through, I think, 4-3. Can you see Martin Stefan Fentz overdoing Marcel Walpen? He's... I can't. No, I really can't. I think Walpen wins again 4-0, James. Interesting. And then obviously the last game here, Stefan Belmont, Jochen Graudens. So I'm yeah. going for it. It's his first five, Trav. Oh, Just, okay. Uh, oh. Heads up. Yeah. We weren't sure about that before yeah. we started. I'm going to go for a 5 1, Stefan Belmont here. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to go 5 3, also, Stefan Belmont. Belly is on form at the moment. Is that Stefan Belmont missing double eight? <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not in game play, so I don't think it counts. <laughs> That man does not miss double eight, so I've been told. And so I've seen with my own eyes. Interesting to see a lot of players playing today stack their darts. I mean, Trav, you're a stacker yourself. How do you how do you find watching these kind of kind of players? Do you think it favours the stacker or do you think it favours the likes of someone who throws like Belmont with a with a dart standing up a little bit more? Ah, it's a really personal preference, isn't it? There's there's more than one way of skinning a cat, as they say. There's there's plenty of of methods that work in this game. Aesthetically, I think I like the Belmont throw. I like the, you know, the positioning of the Belmont darts a little bit more than Grounds is, but hey, they both use them very well, don't they? Two of the two of the Singable. masters of their craft. Indeed. It's gonna be a fourth twenty-five. Yes it is. So <laughs> we've gone back to back to back to back. So it's still drawing on the bull off front. Yeah, so Belmont will have another go. Single ball. All this time Belmont. Let's see. Nope, twenty-five again. Stefan loves the 25. Single ball. Grounds loves bull. Don't go for 12 and then bulls out again, Grounds. <laughs> this is still the buller. So we'll go around the fourth time. Fourth time. Could this be the longest ever STC bull up? <laughs> Outside. Of course, it's an important moment, the bull up. It's uh, not to be understated the value of it. He's put it outside, so this should be the end of the bull up. No! Oh! Oh, oh, he's you're won that. One. <laughs> Grounds just. just. Yeah. Jochen must have thought okay. when he missed First the, leg uh, is Jochen to throw there. first he game on. Really going to come back there. All fun and games done. It's down to business. Jochen Graudens throwing first. Strap yourselves in. Looking forward to this 58. one. I think it's both of their first times on the live stream board. I'm fairly confident in saying that. It is their first Neither man has stepped foot on this beautiful streaming board today. And one under them, Christen it with his first three darts. Ooh, not with a 180, but with a 140. Well, you can ground into the first 180. One under them, 40. Ooh, <laughs> he's a stacker, Mark. That's a brilliant first start. <laughs> yeah, just where he'd want that first start, wasn't it? You can ground into the bottom of the bottom of the treble 20 bed. 57. For those of you commenting about who's going to be the World Cup pairing, Stefan Belmont has already secured his spot at the World Cup, but we need a partner for him. And that tournament will be decided next weekend here by 11. the SDC. Obviously, Jochen Graudens can't play. German contingent there. Yeah. I'm sure Rocco can sleep a little bit easier at night, or Marcel Waltman can sleep a little bit easier at night. Knowing 140. That have to beat Jochen Graudens in that tournament. They'll probably be sleeping quite easy knowing the fact that they'll play with Stefan Belmont if he carries on playing like this. Great 140 there from Stefan. 41. Stefan, you require 164. Looks like a very comfortable first leg for Stefan Belmont. Won't want too many more straight arts. 38. Just the 38 there. So if Jochen can put in a ton 40, he's not out of this leg yet. Oh, it's never a nice position to be in on, on the throw, is it? First leg of the game. Ooh, somebody it is. Okay. So Belmont first poke. Travel for a dart at the ball. 
we'll look back up to 20s. 54. 16s, okay. Jochen, you require 111. Can Jochen Granitz take out this 1-1-1? Let's see. Well, he starts on the bullseye. <laughs> he does. 11, Will he okay. go full ball? That's a happy Ooh. accident. <laughs> 51. Stefan, you require 60. 72. Will he get a shot? I think he will, James. Yeah, I think he will. I think Belmont will miss tops. Oh, okay. Will he go 15 ball or out? I think he'll go 15. I think he's yeah, got a bit too much I don't, respect I don't think he'll go outer. Just go 15 ball. Get a pop at the ball. 39. Jochen, you require 60. Is that, is it? No, it's not. So, 60 for Graudens for an opening hold. Brilliant for Game shot in the first dark. leg. Jochen Graudens. Great fair from Jochen Graudens. Yeah. Second leg Perfect is Perfect example of the stack you were talking about, wasn't it, James? On. Is indeed. First time we've seen this angle here as well. Wow. <laughs> the little side Belmont profile. Uh, for those wondering why Stefan Belmont has already qualified 134. for the that's due to him already accumulating money on the Pro Tour. So you have to accumulate money on, money on the PDC Pro Tour. So Challenge Tour points that, that Marcel Wolfram currently has and Rocco has does not count towards... Uh, World Cup qualification. So Belmont, the only one qualified for the World Cup currently. Of course, Groudens was in with, with him, was in with a sniff, wasn't he, of qualifying for a Euro Tour event himself? One hundred and forty Euro Tour event. Obviously, Belly beating Roby John Rodriguez last week. Six four, very strong darts from Belly. Unfortunately, yeah. going down to Vandenberg, but he'll be happy with that. We were watching those games, weren't we, James? Cheering on Stefan. Done well to come back here, Belly, after that opening little salvo. Yeah, he'll be disappointed on that 72, won't he? He'll need to get a dart at the ball. He will indeed. Groudon's one from one on, on the outer ring, of course. 43. We can see the other results that are Stephen going on around the board. 127. The Some tasty games, of course, haven't we? That Andy Bless Sven Geiger game. Uh, I'd really love to be kept up to speed with that one. Okay, Belmont, 67. Ooh, he, I think he I think turned down the ball. Yeah, this won't be attempted. <laughs> Would have liked to have seen him go for that one there. But completely understandable as to why he didn't. 76. Professional of the game, Stephen, isn't he? Require he is for indeed, two. and he's going to get six if he wants it at 32. But I don't think he'll need it, funnily enough. <laughs> Great guy. Can he just kiss in off that one? Are you above that one? Onto the section he said. We 16. Never, he never misses. And he has missed it. Okay. Got a nice little crowd building up in the background there, you can see. Oh, wow. Love the shirt. Yeah, there. that's some view. We obviously don't get the... 177. Still being a left-hander, but... Hits 177 to lead double 12. Is that a bit of pressure on Belly now? Huh. James, that's a lot of pressure on Belmont. He's missed three already. And that's not a good dart. <laughs> Shaky. On his favourite double segment... Can he find it here? Last dart in Game shot in the go. second leg. Stefan Belmont. I think he has got that Third one. leg is Jochen to four first. Has Game indeed there. just snuck in. Great last dart We weren't Belmont. sure, were we? Yeah. We were holding our breath. Great last dart from Belmont. Yeah, we really have got a nice crowd building up in the background here, haven't we? 26. Who do you think they'll be supporting, James? Who do you think the fans will want to see come through this one? I think Belly. I think okay. I think the Swiss contingent will be supporting Belly and the German contingent will be supporting Jochen. <laughs> and the Scottish contingent will be gutted that Barry's gone home. 140. Still plenty of Germans in the competition, of course. So don't underestimate the uh, the veracity of that German support. 41. Can't quite stack one in there, Jochen. No. Another 140 for Belmont and he's... Uh, He's got the Swiss Alps between the two of their scores. 100. You've been thinking of that one for a while, Trav? I haven't, James. Just the large gulf in their scores. Can we get our one first one? Ooh. Not Disappointing here. Not our first one, 80, yeah. Usually by now, these two have popped in two or three, haven't they? I know. Stefan Belmont, quite a prolific 180 hitter. Same with Jochen Graudens. Yeah. 57. Yeah, echo that. Stefan Belmont doesn't quite leave the fish. Another troublous visit. Still not seen the fish pop. We by haven't, yeah. Member. Yeah, we've, we've had 18 58. tournaments. This is our 19th tournament, of course, of the SDC season, and, and no fish. It, it is surprising, isn't it? We've had tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of darts thrown. 
Lots of support in the comments for Belly at the moment as well. Oh, yeah. 100. All, uh, all 170 joining us live on YouTube. Let us know who you're supporting. 41. needs all the support Stephen he can get right now. 104. He went 1-0 up, but for all money, Belmont's going to take a 2-1 lead. As he starts 16s on 104, okay. I like that route. Great Got time route. on his side, yeah. 4 16s leaves top of course. If Jochen here is to hit a, a ton or a ton 40, you would say there's a bit of pressure. You'd say that Belmont Stephanie shouldn't be a good 60. checker of 60 with the way his darts stand up, but we, we've said it before backstream, haven't we, James, that he does not miss 60. He's really ruthless on 60. Ooh. Jochen as well sat on bull five bull if he is to get a shot. He'll rely on Belmont's miss yeah. double 10. Maybe Belmont would have preferred that first Game shot in the higher. third leg. Stefan Belmont. Makes no difference. That double Fourth 10. leg is Plum. Stefan yeah, to throw there. first. Yeah. Game on. Yeah, to the uh, to the applauding spectators, they enjoyed that one. Belmont did too. A little wry smile. He's not the most expressive man on tour, is he? He's not the, most, the man you'd think you know he'll be jumping up and down and uh, and celebrating in opponents' faces. He's very understated, isn't he, in his manner? The only time I've seen Stephen Belmont really like overjoyed was when he beat Robert Owen in the uh, <laughs> in the Euro Tour when when he got his first win there, and also against Roger John Rodriguez, obviously when he's playing in front of the crowd. Like this crowd is obviously very minor for Stephen Belmont yep. now. Yeah, we made the comment, didn't we? As as commentators, we his his first start generally in the STC is is in that treble twenty, isn't it? Or, or maybe even a little bit high, but his first start there, maybe a little bit typified by his his Euro Tour performance. It, it was low, wasn't it, of the treble twenty, an awful lot, which. And it's probably why we didn't see the the ton plus Belmont that you know we've, one hundred and twenty used to seeing on the STC. I've seen a bit of spray left and right from both these players so far, which is it's not, not untypical of grounds, is it? He, he can he can have a look at the the white sections there at the top of the board. Ninety nine maths here to try and leave a finish from three oh three. Uh, don't think he would quite do that, but. Nevertheless, I think 140 points in front. He's relying on uh, Jochen to just not fill the bed, really. 81. Just puts in an 81 there. Stefan Belmont, 204. A couple of trebs, and you think uh, he's in pole position here. Yeah. Belmont's been the better of the two players, hasn't 100. he? 100. changes. He's been the better scorer of the two. Watching the scores now, watching the players throw, I can't see any other outcome than Stefan Belmont comfortably winning this game. I, I think 5-1 is, is my prediction earlier, and I think it's, it's going to be pretty accurate. Stefan, you require 100 Do you fear a little bit for Groudens? Potentially on the brink of 3-1 here. If he doesn't start that next leg well on his own throw, yeah, it's a long way back, isn't it? Belmont going on the 16s again on 104. 48. I do like the 16s route, but Stefan Belmont's not been not been really anywhere near that six, treble 16 segment. Hmm. He of course missed it on that 72 check, didn't he? And then he missed it on in the previous leg Stephen trying to set up 54 off the same shot. Indeed. Stefan Belmont here with 56. I think he, he just should... big 16 this time. He misses big 16 again. He really struggled on that part of the board. <laughs> I don't know what. Is, is there, I feel like it's like slightly further away maybe for him. Yeah, he hasn't hasn't quite got to grips with the. Uh, with the southwest part of the board, yeah, has he? And you get to grip with it now. Double 16. Not even anywhere near. Like, really one hundred and forty six. He's on the wire. Like. Yeah. It's a shame Groudens hasn't, hasn't really applied the pressure in this leg. One for six. Oh. Well, <laughs> nothing's out of his range. Oh, stays on 20s. Yeah, don't mind him for that. Stefan, you require 16. Stack the bed looked massive, didn't it, to the left-hand side? It did look huge there. First time I've really seen him be a bit shaky on eights. That's on the, on the wire. Well, yeah, the man pokes his head around the corner. Has a little 56. look. It's not in. Have another look, sir. Still not in. Maybe a bit of murmuring of discontent here. It's Groudens on tops. Game shot in the fourth leg. Top, Jochen two for two on top. Fifth leg is Groudens. Jochen to throw first. He really and levels the game, game at 2-2. Two, two. Wow. Been a, an interesting one. I mean, yeah. I was, I was a minute ago, so I can't see any around. Yeah. 5-1. <laughs> Well, Stephen Belmont seems very shaky. He's just missed four darts at double that yeah, didn't look entirely convincing, did he, James? 60. It isn't crazy. It's, it's a crazy game so far because you feel like 
Stefan Belmont, if he if he can play his best starts, he will comfortably walk away with this. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Um, you can see here, Stefan Belmont. 99. Yeah, you're going to say it. He, he looks like he's sweating. Yeah. <laughs> he is really hot. It is, I think, from a player's perspective, it is roasting in that room. It is really hot. I was about to make the same observation. 40. Not a bead of sweat on Marcel Wolf in that previous round, but I think Belmont's feeling it here. You can just see on the, <laughs> the corner of his brow, can't you? I mean, I don't know about you. I was feeling it in that room. Really hot. Um, yeah, especially on stream, as I said before, like, I played on stream a 58. couple of games ago against Manuel de Vrida. Yeah. And by the end of the game, my eyes were dry, my, my hands were sweaty. <laughs> Your knees weak and palms heavy? Or... <laughs> uh, oh. 140. A little quote there from Eminem for those of you who didn't get that one. Of course, I don't know if this will favour either of the two players at this point, but Groudon's played in the morning session. His group stage took place at 10 o'clock in the morning, had a little break in 100. the afternoon. Well, yeah, Belmont's been playing non-stop until 12 o'clock. Groudon's in control of this leg as well. 80 points to gap plus these. 60's probably enough at this point. Yeah, I'd say 60's enough. Unless Belmont can clean this up in six, I think. That first start low again. We've, we've talked about the... Okay, stays there. Thinks he can 140. stack on top. <laughs> Jochen, you require Thinks 101. He can stack on top. Can stack on top. <laughs> Treble 20 looked blocked, Stefan, but what do I know? Oh, one Ball. Ball. <laughs> no, surely it's going to be 11 for tops here, I think. 19 or 11 is the percentage play. Yep, he hasn't missed tops yet. He's 61. Two on two. Ooh, top wire. Stefan, you require 104. Oh, what do you fancy going? Is he going to go 16s route here? Yeah, he's left one in four. Three legs consecutively. Well, I think he's going 20s this time. I think he's changed his MO. He's going 18s, okay. Four 18s for favourites. Has he found it? Double 16. Can he find double 16? Our camera's not. There it is. Double 16. Big moment in the game here. 72. <laughs> Jochen, you yeah, require southwest 40. corner of the board. This 8-16 section, usually so reliable for Belmont, has not been Has not been in this game. Jochen Graudens here. Can he pin double Game shot in the fifth leg. Lead. Jochen Graudens. 3-2 Jochen Graudens. Six leg is Two Stefan legs away from first the Swiss champion. Game on. Wow. Out. And sending him home. Can I ask you a question, James? Who's favourite for this game right now? You, If you'd asked me two 59. legs ago, I would have said there's no question of doubt over who I think is going to win that game. Yeah. That person is Stefan Belmont. But I do think that he just looks a lot more uncomfortable than Jochen at the moment. His first start is low every time. Yeah. 45. Yeah. Consistent trait at the last couple of legs from Belmont. And perhaps that is the heat. You know, we talked about that comparison with the Euro Tour where it's big venues, big crowds, you know, obviously a lot of heat generated in those venues. And, you know, maybe the conditions are actually a little bit similar to that. that Euro 140. Which, you know, we said Belmont hasn't produced the averages that he can on the on the SDC stages. Do you think it's the big golden trophy that's in there shining <laughs> into their eyes? <laughs> he can't take his eyes off it, can he? You can't see it on the stream here, but the big golden trophy is sat right next to the players on a pedestal yeah. in, in the arena. Wow, James, look at that first start there on 18s. At this point, 44. I think you, I'm all for setting up on 302, but my one thing that I don't think is necessary is if your opponent can't leave a finish in six darts, what's the point of you leaving a finish? Especially one on the ball, because you know that Stefan Belmont's not going to go for it. And now, after slipping into single four, you've really put Groudens in the pole position now with that 140. How a leg can turn again, Stefan Belmont low on triple 20, which, you know, he has worked over the top of that first start, but 100. really not an ideal spot, is it, for, for, for a man like Belmont with his first start there? Good last start there for Belly, though. Yeah. Puts himself yeah. slightly in control of this leg. Yeah, he's a slim favourite here. 60. Just Definitely 60 require from Jochen. 158. Yeah. Big moments here in the sixth leg. Again, that Belmont first leave. low, yeah. but finds it on top. 98. Okay. Leave 60. He checked this out before, obviously, on double 10. Yeah. We've talked about how ruthless he can be when his first start's high in the 20. He loves to just, you know, nestle next to it, doesn't he? 64. Oh, Stefan, you require a spray 60. there from You can leave in 107. Ball 7, ball range. Very nice 20, that. Not a blocker dart. Oh, does catch the flight though. Double ten. Can he find 40. it? Forty. Pretty good on this segment. Jochen, no, you require one hundred and seven. Jochen, we know he's going to start on bullseye here. 
Finds the 25, so that leaves him 782. Yeah. That's a good guy. Great stacker for Bullseye, yeah. I was good thinking guide. Ooh, unlucky. 74 left, treble 14. 47. Stefani okay, required 20. So Belmont. Double percentage and not at his ruthless best. No, but I think he will find 10. He can use that nicely. Ooh, goes inside. Now a lot of pressure on this double Game five. Game short in the sixth Bell. leg. Stefan he Belmont. He shows why he is the best player. Seventh leg is Jochen to four first. Game on. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win this one, Trav? Oh, well, <laughs> the advantage of throw is huge. You know, we joked at the start about the four repeats the bull off. Now both players are wishing I had advantage of throw. And, and Groudens is the man that does. So I'm, I'm going to say Groudens is still a slight favourite here. Marcel Walpen is the first player through to the semi-finals, overcoming Martin Stefan Fentz five legs to nil. One hundred and forty. Prediction that Marcel Walpen was was in the mood for bageling opponents, which is what he's done with his last two games. Marcel Walpen being the player a bit out of form recently. Yeah, obviously made a challenge for semi-final though. Yeah, last, last week was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's been a lot of talk around the arena actually that, that you know murmurings we've been speaking to a lot of players today and they're all saying the same thing that maybe Marcel Alpen isn't coming here in the best of form or the you know the highest of spirits 140 put that murmur to bed isn't he Stefan Belmont seems to have found his range on that first dart yeah. back to back ton 40s there yeah. puts himself in control of this game against the Groudon's throw yeah Groudon started ton 40 himself remember 41. he did indeed and 41 is giving this yes. to Stefan Belmont slightly you think if Stefan Belmont didn't take that double five last dart in hand. Oh, massive moments, yeah. No, it's not in, Stefan. I'd go 17s here at this point. I don't think you look at it out of ball. Yeah. Let's go 17s. Leave that 164. Jochen Grounds will be thinking, fill the bed and he leave will. yourself tops. So you've he been will. ruthless on it. I can't quite do it. It's been left with sp right with spray all game. 62. Sorry, single one. Stefan, you require 100. One last start there to leave himself a finish. But is it going to be enough? Stefan Belmont starting on the 20s. We're looking for another two treble 20s. Finds one. Wouldn't want to leave that 104 again, would he, James, if he had a trebleless visit? 140. Four Finds another oh, treble. You require a brilliant last start from Stefan. Huge pressure here on this 158. I yeah. can't see it going, really. One of the most difficult finishes in the game of darts, isn't it? Whoa. Went treble 18, treble 18 bull there. Quite an interesting 43. Route. Yeah, not the percentage Stephen players that can grab that. I, I almost thought he slipped from 20s for a minute, but... No, I think he's just trying to show off on the cameras. He loves it. <laughs> bull 15 bull would be dirty. He won't... Oh, my goodness. Belmont. Very, very slippy. Yeah. Big moments here. Wipes his hands. Takes a deep breath. Knows the importance of this. 15 points left. Will he go seven or three? Goes three for double six. Twelve. Jochen, you so require one hundred and fifty. Jochen now, a bull and an outer bull to leave tops is probably the play here. Depends where his first start lies, of course, doesn't it? Whoa, whoa, that is very <laughs> down of the bullseye. And Thirty-four. I think Eighty-seven Stephen, you remaining. Require Twelve. So throws away almost there. Yeah. Thinking that Belmont's going to clean up this double six. Never guarantee because if you game go short in the course, seventh leg, three, Stefan Belmont. No need to worry about that. Doesn't go inside. Eight leg is Stefan to throw first. Three. Game on. Groudens is still smiling. I don't know how. He now needs to break and then hold to win this game. He was 3 2 up, of course. He's now 4 3 down. Here's the momentum again with this man, Stefan Belmont. First up, five is slightly disappointing. We'll want to find that treble and can't. He's dropping low yeah. every time. This game, it's nervy, isn't it? I mean, the averages may suggest otherwise, but this isn't the high-quality affair that we've seen between these two men before, 41. really, is it? Jochen's been playing at this level all day, really. Good quality, isn't it? But apart from in his previous game against uh, Felix Scherz, he's been playing at this level all day. He's found that treble 20 well, again, though, Belmont. Two trebles, is, that's the difference, you I think. You see the grimace on his face there. He really wanted that. <laughs> the focus there was intense from Belmont. And he knows that just two more minutes of, of hard concentration 100. will book his place in the semi-final. Well, indeed, I think he is in very much control now. Just one treble, I think, will suffice. Two will put the boot in completely, 100. and I think we'll send Groudon's home.
Grant's still just about in this. Yeah. He can hit uh, two treble visits. Yeah, yeah. Grant is never out of the game, is he? But he's been displaying warning signs these last couple of games. He's 40. He's ticking on the inside. You can tell that. 240 of you watching the conclusion of this game here on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying it. 140. Bell oh, with a two treble visit there to leave 76. Unless this is a 180, I think this is game over. Unless that's about 180. 140. Oh, Stefan, you don't require think that's in. I think that is a 140. And I think that will be the end of Jochen Graudens here. Stefan Belmont will have one dart in hand at tops. 56. To send Graudens home. Not quite yet. We'll have a further three, obviously. A huge crowd drawing in the background here. Jochen Graudens can't even seem to set it up that well. Ooh, 81. We downstairs. Ooh, Stefan, you require 20. As well. Probably not the ideal play, but I can't see Belmont missing three in hands. I don't know about you. No, I can't, James. Game. Shot the and the match for Stefan ring, Belmont. There. He comes from 3-2 down to reel off three legs in a row and beat his good friend Jochen Graudens 5-3. Good game there as a whole. I think a bit below their regular quality, but Stefan Belmont will probably be hoping to get back in the main arena where it's a little bit cooler. That that felt like a big occasion game, didn't it? And I think I think that's only natural on an occasion like our SDC finals event here. Um, yeah. Two other games obviously still going on at the moment. Marcel Walpen's obviously through. Uh, but we are still waiting for the outcome of the game between uh, Andy Bless and Sven Geiger. Andy Bless and Sven Geiger and Stefan Hacker and Dominic Fink. Yep. Two really interesting games. Can we get those up on Darts Connect, James? Can we? We can't, unfortunately. So we will be having to, to wait and hear the news from the, the venue itself. Yep. Uh, we'll be back shortly for the semi final where uh, Marcel Walpen is going to face Stefan Belmont. Absolutely exciting. Who's going to win it? We'll find out shortly. Stay tuned.
der Stefan. So, wir kommen zum ersten Halbfinal zwischen dem Stefan Hechler und dem Andy Fless. Spielt wird Best of 11 Legs. Hallo und welcome back to SDC. Tour Finals, we're here for semi-final number one between Stefan Hackler and Andy Bless. First to six legs here in this exciting encounter. We've seen Stefan today, but we haven't seen Andy Bless. Trav, how do you think he's going to get on today? Yeah, Andy Bless has been flying under the radar today, but under the radar no more. He's in the spotlight of the stage, isn't he? He's on the live stream board. Andy Bless, he's, he's had an up and down sort of day, I'd, I'd say, today. He's, he's not been at his fluent best for, for portions of today. Um, but obviously with his scoring power he can he can blow away players in the blink of an eye. He's come through a couple of last leg deciders, including in the quarter finals. Stefan Hackler's rather had it more his own way in the last couple of knockout games. Um but yeah, a nip and tuck kind of game, isn't it, James? That I think Andy Bless will prove the better player in the end. Um, but you know, it it's a real occasion, isn't it? It's hot up on that stage, it's you know, it's late into the evening now. These players have been at it for a long period of time. It, it will come down to a, to a mental battle, and of course... That's the bull side. Bless so is a, a seasoned veteran of Swiss Darts, isn't he? He is indeed. It is now a bull off time, and it looks like... First leg is Andy Bless. Game on. Of course, we, we think the other semi-final is going on at the same time. Stefan Belmont, Marcel Walpen. How can we forget about those two giants of the game? But possibly they could be featuring on the live stream after this game, so... In case you think you've missed that classic, we'll keep you posted as and when we know. And a decent crowd here of players and, and fans, well, of good. course, and family. Go on, Mark, get the board up. We want to watch the game. Great to see so many people staying till the till the very bitter hey, end enjoying this game. Enjoying the best darts on offer in Switzerland. Steady start from Stefan Hackler here. That's like to move so around the up. He doesn't. He it? does. He certainly does. Yeah. There's a lot of moving parts, really, isn't there, to the Hackler throw? But we've seen him a lot before. We've talked about his throw before. Eighty-five. Rather contrasting with Andy Bless, isn't it? Who's who's more of an explosive thrower? All of his power sort of generated through the uh, the whip of his his arm, isn't it? The, the arm speed. One hundred and eighty. Oh, 180 there for Stefan Hackler. <laughs> can't see it on the screen, so you can't get too excited by it. Stefan, you require 161. Don't this see is like... Stefan Hackler winning this one, but I think he is starting well. I'm impressed. <laughs> 85. No, there's 50 points between the averages, James, after 12 darts. Andy Blast is getting destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Things bad for you. Yeah. 60. Stefan requires seven. Early stages in this one. First to six. A lengthy old game we've got here. We are trying to get the board sorted at the moment. I don't know what's going on. We're waiting for. Here we go. We finally got Mark. He's actually doing his job. Apologies, guys. The board is there. And we're now watching yep. the darts. Do we have Maurizio Castellavinci in the live stream? Has he joined us yet from, from his position at home or in the hotel, wherever he is right now? Can't see Maurizio in the live stream yet. 
sure it's only a matter of time till that man makes an appearance. Hello, Maurizio, and hello, everyone else on YouTube. Good start here. Stefan from Equire for leaving. Yeah. 32. Yeah, I caught a little bit of that game, James, of Hackler against um, Luis Camacho. That was a last 1 to 8 game. So that was played you know, several hours ago now. But you know, it, was, it was tight. It was a nip and tuck game. It's always a, a close contest between those two players. Um, yeah, and, and Hackler got, got, got the better of him in the end, 4 2, but a really impressive showing from Hackler. 47 there for Blast, leaves 85. Game short in the first leg. Pause, and there it is. That's opening break. Hackler takes a good opening break there in 19 darts. Yeah. Bless will be disappointed he was on 85 after, yeah. after 21. Do not, do not adjust your glasses. Andy Bless is averaging in the 50s. It has been one leg. But it has been one leg, but... It's been where you've been all day, Trav. In the 50s. 100. Mine being at Andy Bless's level for the whole day, James, <laughs> if that's what you're implying. There we go. This is the Andy Bless we know. There we go. All the pinheads. <laughs> Points to the side. 180. Points to that crown. Does he point to the trophy there? Is it yeah. all sign that he's, yeah. he's up for it? 70. He says, you're mine to the trophy. Stefan Hackler comes back and says that I am going to lift that trophy today. Good last dark treble there. 57. Well, one of them will be in the final, of course. It'll be an all-Swiss final, of course. All-Swiss players, yeah, indeed. We eliminated our three well, German contingents in the last round. But a real strong showing from the German players that have that have travelled over for, for today's event. 100. They're certainly a welcome addition to the tour in Switzerland, aren't they, James? They are indeed. Bringing yeah. some, some much-needed uh, experience and quality. For sure. Very good darts at the moment for both of these players, but 15 there from Stefan Hackler is really quite disappointing. Yeah, I think he's real slip. Just a ton there, and he's in a very strong position again to, to go 2 1 up. Good ball there. 88, 88 scored. 66 left. 76 left. Better maths that time. 176 for Hackler. We'll need to find a treble you feel here to put a bit of pressure on. Does find a treble there. The battle of the 76 off. Great dart. Wow. Oh, that's a wild spray. Wow. Hackler's getting a shot here at the 76. Does he find a trap? Is it about the stream board and rust spray? It's, uh, it's really infectious, isn't it? There's a lot of spray darts at the moment. 76 for Hackler. Only going to get one dart. Stay there for double 18. I think he will as well. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> really... very lucky. <laughs> really aggressive. But he's on double 16. 44. Doesn't find and you require 40. What's he thinking there, James? Attacking the treble line. I agree. 56. Game hmm. shot in the second leg. Andy Bless. That is not. Bless breaks back. Third leg. Andy to pro first. Game on. That's all it took. How many 180s do you think we'll see in this first six encounter? Andy Bless is, is known for his first amount of 180s. Not known for his breakfast hitting, is he? Like we've just seen there. But we have seen two 180s in the opening two legs. 100. Against another handful, would you? Four or five more to come, perhaps? No, I definitely wouldn't here. Although he's been a bit shaky on his own throw so far, so he needs to be careful. Andy Bless has, has been spraying left and right. Stefan Hackler. Another ton, and he's in very good position here in this leg. 16. Do you put the amount of spray darts we've seen, James, just down to the conditions, just down to the, I guess, the occasion that we're now at in a you know, quarter final, semi final stage? One of the names! You know, a lot of darts. Oh, they hit another 180 for Andy Bless. Great darts there. One thing I do notice is Stefan Hackler is using completely different darts to what I've seen him use previously. Uh, that blue ribbing is slightly different. 100. Good ton there. Keeps, keeps him. In the leg. Yeah, he's nine. up his 180 with, with nine scored. It's <laughs> it's a puzzling kind of performance from Bless so far, isn't it? It's either all or nothing kind of thing. Yeah. Hackler, obviously, the, the sort of steady eddy of this game, isn't he? But makes you think this game will really come down to how well Bless holds it together. Will he, you know, 
hitting the treble 20 or all those other adjacent 80. trebles. 80 scored there, leaves him 174. Hackler still in the driving seat here though, on the blast throw. Hackler strong in the driving seat, but he will need to keep straight and find a treble. 80. He does find a treble. Great dart. 101 left. Flash is looking to set up two trouble 19s. We'll do so. Binds two trouble 19s. Great darts from Andy Blast. Saying to Stefan Hackler, you need to take out this 101. Real injection of quality there from Andy. 82. Goes aggressive. I don't like that route, I'll be honest. When you've got two um, darts in well, hand, four, always go treble for double rather than the ball. Andy Blast is not going to miss three in hand at tops, is he? I get the argument if you're a momentum player, but I don't think Stefan Hackler had the momentum there. I don't think he's obviously had a reasonable Burn. leg. Stefan, you require seven. Playing your right, go with, the, go with the bigger segment. Commentator's curse, Andy Blast won't miss three darts at the top. Yes, he will. <laughs> Hackler gets a pop at 73. Two darts at double eight to take a 2-1 lead. A little bit against the grain, against the run of form, but here we are. 57. And you require a pen. Doubling has not been the best so far. This is by no means a guarantee. Cool, and Andy Bless won't be checking Stephen out. Requires 16. I, I feel like, like on double five, you need to either be aggressive first dart or third dart. Don't go inside with that second dart. You're wasting a dart there. Being aggressive on doubles is so much e easier said than done, isn't it, James? I mean. We've both Game been in, in that boot. Sometimes you're sort of hoping Hackler. it's in the area, aren't you? I mean, like, especially with that first start, it's no hard to be aggressive on those. Those top doubles, isn't it? First start. 2 1 lead. You can see Mark there. Yeah. Panning around to the arena, showing the crowd. There is the big trophy. It's on offer and a Roman. Can't see it. 60. Yeah, it's on. Good aerial view we saw there, wasn't it, of the crowd? That's well, still here. 41. As we get later into the evening. <laughs> still plenty more darts 60. to come. Would be very, very interesting to see if Stefan Hackler made a final here. I think it'd be such a shock. Yeah. Almost. I think he has made a couple of finals before, hasn't he, on the on the SDC tour, but um if he has, I think he's only made one. He's certainly not an SDC title winner. We were talking about how we were pricing up the tournament at the start of the day. Uh, and Stefan Hackler was out of 40, 50 to 1, we <laughs> He think. was, yeah. Yeah, he was. Andy Bless was, was near 5 or 6 to 1, I think, we said. <laughs> and our two tournament favourites battling it out in the other semi-final. Exactly. One of them, of course, won't be making the final. That's Marcel Walpen or Stefan Belmont. Forty-five. Fifty-seven. So advantage Hackler here. On his own throw. 59. This game in his advantage. 100. Andy Bless finding that last start treble, putting himself 60 points in front here. If Hack can find a treble, we still think it's we, a 50 50 leg. We've talked a lot on the stream before, haven't we, James, about Groudon's in the cap. What do you think about uh, Stefan Hackler in the cap? Do you think there's a. Uh, a little, little piece of magic that goes on with, with those cap-wearing darts players. Safety. I'm not really a huge fan of, of players wearing caps. I, I always think that it, it looks more professional when there's no players wearing a cap. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. 45. If you can get the win today, I don't think I'll say too much about the cap. Well, Maybe Graven's defeat was down to, to, the, uh, to the lack of hats. Seventy-three. Andy Bless on top, so 1 1 2. Can Stefan Hackler take out that 1 2 7 here and put himself in a good position? No, he can't, so it looks 59. like Bless is going to have a chance to take Andy out 39. 39. What we made on 
made a blast of showing on the outer ring, James. So far, he's been relatively steady, but Game obviously yeah. there was those three darts missed. Yeah. And then there's another two there. It's, it's really starting to add up. So it's a five. It's really quite wild, wild, wasn't it, in the last leg. Um, yeah, not, not a feature of his game, you wouldn't say. You, you typify Andy Bless as, you know, the 180 hitter, the power scorer of, of the SDC, but... Oh, no, that's, that's a real Hackler crime. Doesn't he's doesn't even Hackler. leave a double. Yeah, doesn't well, get a dart. Or from Hackler. Bless isn't going to miss for that much longer. Two on the wire here. Eight. And inside. Four so doesn't convert. Game short in the fourth leg. Stefan Heckler. Stefan Heckler. It's not pretty. It's a 28 data. But he won't care. Puts himself 3 1 up. And halfway there of securing his spot in the final. That's for the great first die here on the following leg. You'd have to say Hackler really in the driving seat now, wouldn't you, James? You would indeed. He's been the better player in this game. For all of Bless's 180s hit, those two 180s, hasn't converted them into winning legs. No, he's not. He's still spraying yeah. it as well. It's been far too much of that, hasn't it? The, the difference between the two players so far. Been a lot of double trouble so far. Yeah. Yes, that has important doubles at important times. Andy Blass has come up dry. Hackler is really showing his experience here. Not not averaging averaging pretty much yeah. where he's been all yeah, day, around exactly. that 66 yeah. mark, but that's enough, I think, yeah. at the moment. Andy Bless is going to have to up it. A 65 average can really disguise the true quality of darts, can't it? I mean, we just saw a 28 dart leg Four there from, from Stefan Hackler, but it was a 28 winning dart leg, you know, which which can disguise a couple of better legs in the contest that you know, might win or lose. Um, so it really does mask a true true performance on average sometimes. If you can find one or two trebles here, you could say he's in control again of the leg, but can't quite do so. So Andy Bless, level on level on points here, but it's all going to come down to really, I think, the end of the leg. Can yeah, find that double? 44. No trouble, does just leave a finish, the 164. And, and they're wild by Andy Bless's standard. They weren't aggressive darts at the treble, were they? No, they weren't at all. They were play safe darts. They were, they were this is my leg to lose darts, in my Andy opinion. Indeed, Hackler can't find a treble though. It doesn't even stay straight. So one for one for one's not really easy one. Can Bless can't pop the 164. <laughs> He very quickly makes you eat your words, doesn't he, Andy Bless? Definitely require one He's one of those players. You can flick the switch at any moment. One for one for Hackler. How will he leave it? 97. Andy Bless. Pretty handy. Yeah, pretty left. handy. Bit of pressure on this 72. Just be one of the tops. Stefan Bless away. 44. Bless looks down, down in the dumps. Hackler should get two, will get two. Double 16. Game short in the fifth leg. Stefan Hackler. Bless is on the brink of defeat. He is, yeah. What's he got left in the locker? You can see him there, head in hands. It's hot. It's getting late. It's been a is, long day. Is the pressure starting to tell on Andy Bless? Darts obviously started today at 10 o'clock in the morning. 100. It's now 9 o'clock at night. These players have been playing lots of games of yep. darts. Yep. These players have now won seven games. Eight games, sorry. My mistake, some of them. Eight games. So, been a very long day. And to, to come away, they're still going to have to win two more. Can they win 10? 100. Still looks as composed, as unflustered as he did. Back in that round of one to eight that we saw on this stream as well. 57. Bless is really going to have to start improving his scoring. Yeah. yeah. Hackler straight back in there as well. I think he can he can see the finish line almost. 81. Would you maybe give a comment, James, to the fact that I was going to say Hackler's throw is maybe just a little bit more, I don't know, enduring of time. And he blesses throw, puts a lot of strain, doesn't it, on his arm and on his shoulder. Throws the darts very aggressively. Hackler sort of more gentle in his in his throw. Indeed, yeah. 
I think maybe that tells over a long day of darts. It's a very steady throw as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There's that treble. When that first dart treble One collects on the top of the bed, you do think he's going to fill it always, and that's yeah. left 64 there. How he can turn legs around, eh? That power scoring, he's, he's never out of a game, and that suggests he's still not completely out of this one, would you? And you oh, I still think Bless has got a very good chance in this game. This 64 is important, though. You'd be having a bit of money on Bless, would you now, for the comeback? Found the double. Oh, has he found the double? <laughs> 56. No, he's nowhere, nowhere near, James. Sorry. <laughs> I thought we were getting a bit of lag, and his facial expression suggested to me that he got it, but he hasn't got it. Hack has a chance to go 5 1 up with 78. Ooh. That's Bray's first dart. Single 18. We can only set it up now. 29. And you require 8. Wow. <laughs> Some really ropey yeah, darts. You're as, you're as confused as I am, James. That's a great guide for Bless. Can he just kiss in off of that? Game shot in a six leg. Oh, yes. Dance fight yeah. to find that double. Oh. <laughs> Gestures to his family almost to say, why is that oh, yeah. going come just now? But after all that's said and done, that's an 18 dial leg. That's a, that's a quality leg in the circumstances to break through. Yeah, this man's certainly not finished yet. One wonder if you're watching, we will have the other semi final up shortly, which is obviously Stefan Belly Belmont against Marcel Cello Walpen. Be an exciting one, won't it? It will indeed. Two players that I oh, think are likely to play with each other in the World Cup. So maybe enemies become friends. <laughs> And he bless, I'm sure we'll have something to say about that. He will indeed. But his performance in this game hasn't suggested that he's... Uh, he's really going to challenge the performances we've seen from Belmont or Walpen today. Indeed. 140. Great 140 there from Hackler. Puts him back yeah. in the leg. A real free hit this leg for Hackler, isn't it? A leg he's not expected to win. 130. Like, but if he does, he's, he's almost there. He's almost secured his spot. Hackler's darts can, don't really, aren't really susceptible to, to lots of 180s, 140s, but he's very, very steady at hitting those regular turns. Yeah. I know he hit 140 last visit, yeah. but just hitting very steady one treble visits, whereas blessed, they stand up a lot more and yeah. a lot easier to fill the bed. Yeah, consistency is the name of his game, isn't it? That's uh, that's obviously what's taken him here so far. As we say, he's not an SDC title winner, has he? He hasn't quite had the averages to, to beat some of the... Um, game shot in the seven play. Play. The Andy Bless. Andy Bless can. Great ace two check out there from Bless. Bull, double 16. Follows game up his 18. Ball. Dart break with a 14 dart hold. Nice to see lots of players still hanging around in the background. I can see Matthias yeah, Loss still yeah, there. Yeah, so can I. Great to see the daddy in the background there. 60. How these players are still going, keeping that darting grit and determination. Yeah. We were saying it ourselves, James. You, you and I both were starting to feel a little shaky, weren't we, towards the end of end of our games? And that was the last 64. Yeah, it seems a long time ago now. You think about a, a players' championships in, in darts. They start at 12 o'clock and they finish around 6 o'clock. Yeah. These have started at 10 a.m. and are likely going to finish around 10 p.m. 24. Yeah. They'll be giving Andy Blessed the, the keys and the trophy at the same time. Perhaps. Still plenty more darts to be thrown between now and then. Can't work out if Stefan Hacker stacks his darts on top or if they come <laughs> underneath slightly. Quite similar to, they go into the ball can't similar to... Can't it be both, James? Can't it be both? Can be both. It goes in similar to Marcel Walpens, I think. That kind of angle. Hackler again, showing great body language here, isn't he? Really doesn't give anything away, does he? Very steely player. He's he's not a uh, he's not phased, is he? By by slack darts or by by big finishes or 180s by Andy Bless. He's really just gets on with the job at hand, doesn't he? I think one thing that we should say well about Stefan Hackler, as well as being a, a great darts player, he's also a, a great volunteer for the SDC as well. Puts in lots of times behind behind the scenes and does in helping set up the tournaments. Uh, wow. help organise everything so that they run as smoothly as possible. So not only a great darts player, but also a great bloke as well. 
Yeah. As much as we like to think of ourselves as one of the voices of the STC, he's certainly a man on the day, isn't he? Who uh, is the voice of the venue, providing the uh, the board announcement and the game calls. Can he pop the first 170 finish of the STC? Oh, oh. We've been asking for it for 12 months, Stefan Hackler. I can't provide today. 100. And he set it up. Leave 65. Okay, an easy, I say easy, a doable <laughs> two dart finish. Nothing's easy it's, when Andy it's a little bit easier. Others. It's a little bit easier if Andy Blatt isn't on a finish, though. It will be one five three. Not an easy one, though. Goes trouble nineteen for double four. Okay, interesting. I don't think there's need to go for bullseye. If, if there's not that much pressure, so I actually don't mind the route. Can he find it though? Okay, shot in the eight. Yeah. 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 Great darts. A little bit of Richie Burnett in the background there. Oh, I thought, he won that game. <laughs> thought he won the game. He's gone game to shame, on. bless his hand, but it's first to six, Stefan. <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> A wry smile. <clears throat> he can laugh about it now. <laughs> bless doesn't seem too impressed he about it. He doesn't, does he? No. That's really thrown him. <laughs> 26. Oh, that's really put him off there. I a very amateur mistake for a, a very experienced player like like Stefan. Oh, I feel for Andy Bless, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do in that in that situation? Yeah. Fifty nine. So what does Hackler do in this situation? I hope he doesn't feel too much guilt. I hope he puts the boot in as well. <laughs> Want the great darts to continue, really. Yeah. Fifty eight. Andy Bless in danger of just throwing this leg away here, isn't he? The game isn't I'm, over. I'm looking at his body language and I. I'm not seeing great things from Andy Bless here, are you? No, I'm not either. And this is the point, the game's not over. They didn't shake hands. Although, yeah. although Hackler wanted yeah. to, it's not done yet. 96. Mm. 96 scored from Bless, good treble. Hackler now in danger of letting this slip away from him, which he does not want to do. If it goes to that, that one important final leg, Andy Bless will have the darts in it, won't he? This next leg is going to be huge, yeah. I think. Yeah. One hundred yeah. putting in for one treble visit. Can Hackler find a treble of his own? Not the treble one. Forty-three. Want the treble twenty, Stefan? Stefan Hackler really has gone off the boil here in this leg, hasn't he? <laughs> he has indeed. Yeah. <laughs> you wonder if his mind was almost somewhere else after he hit that double four. I was going to say, did you notice a little bit of Richie Burnett about that double four, James? He, uh, he did have a little bit of movement there, yeah. A little bit of peacockery almost, wasn't there, on the, on the double? Yeah, 220 of you watching. Who do you think is going to win this one after that handshake? Six of <laughs> Barkle. Do we think that Stefan Hackler still has it in the locker? One hundred and three tops. Lines. Indeed. 40. Hackler now we wait for this next leg. This next leg is huge. Yeah. The biggest leg in the tournament so far, we could say, James. Indeed. Bless finds tops. 5 4. Game 20 on. people still glued to this game. And he blessed four points higher in the averages. One leg down. Two legs at most to go. So Hackler. Takes his time, 55. composes long and hard before what is a very important leg here. You can feel he's just praying them in at this point, <laughs> praying them in. 100. Bless. Starts ton. It's not been Bless's best game it today. Hasn't. No. But that, if he can get through, he will think it's enough. And Hackler. Really shaky. The spray that hasn't. Oh, hasn't typified his game right here, has it? But three hundred and a leg he can't afford to lose. And I think he knows it. These guys are gonna really have to up their game if they're gonna beat Marcel yeah. Warburton or Stefan Bell for the <laughs> final. So not being at that level. Sixty. I know we're I know we're a hundred metres or so away from this game, James, but you can almost feel the nerves, can't you, radiating in the venue. I know. 135. I almost feel the heat here yeah, in, the, in yeah. the back room as well. <laughs> Andy 
Blass puts the boot in here on the Stefan Hackler throw. I think this is going to go down to a last leg decider now. And I think... I don't think Hackler's found a treble in this legacy, James. No, and I think... 12 darts, no treble. The mentality that he'll have at the moment after... Oh, yeah. Yeah. After thinking he's won and into the final. 100. The momentum is only with one player right now. And that's Andy Blass. If Hackler doesn't hit a treble first visit of the next leg, oh, yeah. I, I think it will be game over. 100. And he requires 66. And Blass will Hackler put in that ton or ton 40 opening visit and, and a 15 data game shot in a 10 play tops for bless so here we go 11 and finally oh, wow. he's he's to to final locked in at five apiece <laughs> a handshake a high five a long oh. joke this is no joking matter this is yeah. a game of darts yeah. <laughs> and one leg is going to decide it yeah. all I suspect 18 darts will be enough, don't you, James? 18, 18, 18 darts will win it, I think. Yeah, I think so too. 83. So, Stefan. How much have you got left in the locker? Started with three fives in the last leg. You can see 26. how shiny his face is. I think he is sweating. <laughs> 26 is not enough. What he does telling him that. 57. No, he doesn't. Here we go. Now or never for Stefan Hackler. I think this is treble or bust for Hackler here. <laughs> He's time. had a great run today. One hundred. Is it all unfolding before his eyes here? Good last start yeah. trouble keeps him in the game just about. But I do think we are looking at our first finalist in Andy Bless. I know he sprayed there, Ball but James there. I think I think Andy Bless is gonna come through. Don't make ball claims oh. too soon. <laughs> <laughs> one under the knee! Like it's and it's a 180. He's second, James. He hit one in the first leg You're and he's right. hit one in the last leg. You are right. Incredible, Incredible darts. Stefan Ackler. Incredible. Clutch 180. If I'm honest, I didn't see it happening. And there's a fourth treble 20. Four perfect darts in succession 81. there from Ackler. 81, 114 left. Grabs control in this final leg from Andy Bless. Andy Bless here realistically gonna need a treble yeah. or two. 140. Good find to 140. If either of these checkouts go, yeah. I think I'll be off with my seat here. Wow. It's incredible. So Hackler with first poke, and he's on the 18s. 96 left. Just love that treble, 76. We want to set this up. And two really well for him, darts. Can't criticise those from Hackler. Can Bless take this 1 2 1? So Bless put himself into the final. Can't take it. Bless on the bullseye. Will it be Hackler on double top? Will he go top to will he go 18? He's placed in the final. I'm on the edge of my seat. Stefan Hackler, two darts. Bless can't look in the background. One dart, a double yeah, ten. Here. This massive Bless is walking around all over the place. And Stefan Hackler doesn't find it. Bless has got a chance. 64. It's going to be one dart or two. Tense moments. And Bless somewhat rushes to the board there. 16. One dart, a double 16. 32. Outside, Both missing darts men. for the match. It'll be Hackler that gets three more. We said 18 would be enough. It would have been for Andy Bless there. Double five is not easy. And it's on the wire. Can he just cushion it in off that dart? Oh, it's a wild one from Hackler. There's nerves here. And you hold it together, Stefan Hackler. Huge dart. Arguably one of the biggest darts. Biggest dart in his career. And exactly. 32. He joins that flyer. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Stefan Hackler. Five darts have come and gone. You think Bless will clean up here, but nothing. Yeah, Game not shot and the match for Andy Bless. You're looking small, but not to Andy Bless. Wow. A game full of tops and turbs and intrigue. It's Andy Bless that wins in a last leg decider. Congratulations, Andy Bless, and commiserations, Stefan Hackler. Great effort there. Unfortunate not to win this one. Uh, but you can be proud of this day's work, for sure. Yeah. We'll be back shortly for the other semi-final, Trav. Marcel Wolf and Stefan Belmont coming soon. Stay tuned.
So welcome back, semi-final number two, and this is the game that is on everybody's lips, the game that everyone wants to see. Marcel Wolpen against Stefan Belmont. Marcel Wolpen off the back of nine consecutive legs, beating Martin Stefan Fent 5-0, and prior to that overcoming Patrick Ehlert 4-0, so nine consecutive legs won for Marcel Wolpen. Stefan Belmont on the other hand, 
overcame Jochen Graudens 5-3 and saw off Joel Breitenmoser prior to that 4-1. So two strong showings from Stefan Belmont. And of course, that nine leg um, streak that Marcel Wolfen is on right now. But that streak will have to come to an end. I'm sure at the hands of this man, Stefan Belmont. Many people's tip today, many people's favorite around the venue. Two of the most popular men on the SDC tour. Of course, two of the most successful. Six-time a champion. Walton, four times for Stefan Belmont. Ten crowns between the two of them. 18 tournaments in total, of course, so more than half of all the SDC events this year. Pocketed by these two gentlemen. And of course, one of them will be participating in the final again. 19 final tour event of the season. This grand finale in the beautiful town of Thun. Shortly about to get underway in this our second semi final. Of course, we've just witnessed a thriller between Stefan Hackler and Andy Bless. So many, so many moments to talk about in that game. Stefan Hackler's 180 in the deciding leg. The missed starts at double, the five missed match starts from Stefan Hackler. But it was Andy Bless that pulled off quite a miraculous comeback from 5-3 when Stefan Hackler thought he'd got over the line. Thought he'd booked his place in that final, I do believe. And Andy Bless said, no, not today. Hold, break, hold, three legs in a row. Andy Bless will be participating in the final. Against the winner of this game. So stay tuned, strap yourselves in, and enjoy what could be 11 legs, 11 legs, world class darts. My co-commentator James is going to join me very shortly. We're going to have our usual predictions of this game. He's in the background there, James. My flag is with Marcel Walden. I want Marcel to come through and win, win this game today. I think, as, as we've alluded to maybe on the stream before, he, he hasn't been in the richest vein of form. He hasn't quite been taking home the, the trophies that he's, he'd expect. The um, little running joke in our, in our ceremony, award ceremony today, that he's, uh, he's been downgrading his phone contract in the last couple of months. Marcel Wolpen, due to the fact that he's no longer watching these live streams all the way till the end. He's not been featuring in so many. Stefan Belmont, an absolute regular in the finals these days. It was great when his participation was announced and was sort of secured, wasn't it, after, after the midway point in the season. <laughs> it certainly adds a level of experience, a level of quality that is really unrivaled, isn't it, James? It is indeed. This is going to be a really interesting game, this one. Like, yeah. I think it's going to be a tough one to call, I think. Belmont is obviously starting this game favourite, but as you can see here from his warm-up darts, even, it's it just been dropping a little bit lower, that treble 20 bed, and I think Cello looks very, very composed today, and I think he will be desperate to get his one-up on Stefan Belmont. Yeah. Had a little preview of it, James. I'm, I'm now going to ask you for your prediction. I said that my hat is in the corner of Marcel Walpen like to see him win today i think he will win today i think i'm going to go for stefan belmont is going to win this game at six legs to four okay i think for me i would like to see cello win i think cello won tour events one two and three and i think it'd be a nice overall coming back together if he was to win again yeah, yeah he was the uh the figurehead at the start and he could certainly be the uh the figurehead the spearhead it's at the end Ready, let's play darts. Here we go. Bull off time. I haven't heard that expression in a while, James. Because of course we haven't been playing much darts today, have we? Just since 10 o'clock this morning. 10 hours ago now. 10 o'clock this morning to 10 o'clock at night. 12 Sorry, hours. 11 hours. Exchanging 25s there. Outside. 
belly with a wild one here. So yeah. we'll have Best a winner side. at the end of so this dart. And that winner is Marcel Wolf and wins the bull off. Even Booyah's the bull off there, James. Yes. I love a Booyah. Bull. <laughs> First leg is Marcel, Marcel Wolf, Wolf, certainly, uh, Wolf. A more expressive Wolf. player out of the two. Let's his feelings be known, doesn't he? He does indeed. The SEC growing their follower base even further over the weekend as well. Something that's quite interesting. Obviously now up to, to over 1,200 followers on, on Instagram. 60. People loving the Swiss darts at the moment. How can you not when we've seen some, some brilliant games on our live stream already today and several other brilliant games that, that don't quite get the, the coverage maybe that they deserve and, and the players that... 177. ...to stay in Belmont. Oh, three trebles in his opening visit. 177 there from Stefan yeah. Belmont. Great darts. Yeah. We'll be keeping an eye on the first start of Stefan Belmont, won't we? 85. Had several comments about that dropping low in the uh, game against Jochen Graudens. I think for Marcel Wolpen, one thing that's really important for him is to not let the opening legs get away from him. Obviously, Stefan Belmont starting with three trebles, very hard to not let it get away from him when that happens. But... <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's got to fight, hasn't he, on the Stephen, Stephen Belmont throw. He, he knows he's not going to be presented with loads and loads of opportunities on the Belmont throw, throw, but you know, there'll, there'll be times in this game where he's on you know, doubles or you know, combination finishes that um, really were the signature of an early Marcel Walpen, weren't they? they were, those like two yeah. and three dark combinations. He was, he was so reliable on checking those throughout the, the main course of the season. Um, just been a little bit dry of late, of course, but none of his quality. They'll certainly return. Just having a look here at the, the rankings of all the 256 Stephen players that played this, this, uh, this day today. Yeah. Stefan Belmont, highest three dot average, currently sat at 84.18. Warpen is second with 82.24. So, really showing their quality there. Been very right. little between the two men today. Marcel, you require one. Belmont has a little, little poke at the bullseye there. Long way away by his standards. So, this is the signature Warpen, really. These kind of checkouts. Let's see. Just ah, six. It was disappointing. Not big grimace. Yeah, well, big grimace on the yeah. face of Walpen. Will Belmont go straight for 19s or will he split? I think he's going for it. I think he's splitting, James. He is splitting. You're right. Man with his hands on his head behind. He can't believe what he's seeing. Mm. <laughs> he's an astonishment. In the first leg. He almost struggled right down this part of the board. He did. Second leg. 1-0, Stefan Belmont. <laughs> not now. Not today. An interesting one that we spoke about, obviously, earlier, about the, the leaderboard and whatnot. Yeah. Stefan Hackler, 18th on averages in the leaderboard, mm -hmm. but made a semi-final. Yeah. It just goes to well, show the averages... Well, mismatch all... starts to beat Andy Bless, number what four number on that list. Yeah. Just shows averages aren't everything. Yeah, we talked about this, didn't we? It can really mask the individual leg differences, the quality in leg differences, yeah. We always see Alex Fellman sat up near the top of the, the leaderboard, and, and he's shown that again today, but... Just doesn't seem to get get the wins that he he needs. Mm -hmm. Of course, Rocco will be really disappointed as well. Another man who's in the top top few names on that averages list crashed out in the one two eight. One hundred. Scrolling down to find my co-commentator Matt Travis. You don't need to keep scrolling, James. You oh, I've found you at one oh nine. One hundred. In the two hundred and fifty six man field, James. I, uh, I need to remind people. Yeah, thank you. So busy uh, looking at that, James, you missed Marcel Walpen's 180. <laughs> I think I know which one I'd rather be studying. I think I'll be studying Stefan Belmont's next ton that's coming in here. <laughs> ton 40. Stefan Belmont. Don't do the man down. 161. He's come out firing Stefan Belmont. A different Stephen player almost than the player that was playing your ground. A completely different player. Yep. Talks about that first dart being low. First dart's been there. Top wire of the treble, inside, yeah, there it is again. I can see him hitting another two treble visit here. Five. He's gonna go for the switch, obviously. Oh, okay, don't mind that. Leaves 56. Sensible maths. 60. Stephen require 56. Uh, feeling the heat a little bit here, I think. He is indeed, yeah. 180 this leg, and to not really get a, a poke at a finish. No. It's hasn't, quite difficult. Had a dart a double, of course, in this game, yeah. Game shot in the second leg. Stefan Belmont. Of course, when Belmont Third goes 15 darts followed by 15 darts. I think we've seen a 12 darts today on stream, have we? 
I'm not sure if we have gems, no? No. Possibly by... Felix Schertz, perhaps? I know he put in a couple of uh, very strong legs in that game. I think a few 15 darts in the last we've definitely seen. Five. Don't think we've seen a 12 yet. Marcel Walton starts his own throw again with 45. You fear that's not enough, Marcel. 16. You really do think now if if Walpen is to, to start really slowly this leg and goes 3 0 down, yeah. I don't think he's got two breaks of Stefan Bell and the locker. 58. Bellman obviously, as, as someone's mentioned in the comments, played really well on the Euro Tour recently, beating Roby John Rodriguez, Robert Owen, yeah. uh, coming up just shy against uh, Rob Meet Cross, Vandenberg, Vandenberg, yeah. To be mixing it with those kind of players on a on a weekly basis, though, it's uh, it's only going to improve your game leaps and bounds, isn't it? You know, you'll soon get found out if you're not at the top of your game against against a player like Dimitri. Marcel Walpen's lost his darts here. Not physically, yes. but metaphorically. Okay, a little bit of rust from Belmont. Oh, Ooh, the first, first signs of rust six. we've seen. Lots of rust spray. 26 scored from Stefan Belmont. You don't see that too often. No, you don't. Bit of a collector's item. Eight. He is human and Marcel Walpen. Well, the bet again. <laughs> Belmont smiles, but it's a wry smile. He the last thing he'd have wanted to have seen there. He could have been three up there, yep. but instead it's looking like it's going to be two one. One hundred. Or is he going to fill the bed? You require one hundred and eighteen. Good effort. Leaves one three five, which is a doable out for someone of Belmont's quality. Only one treble required, obviously. He's the signature Walton shots, but he doesn't get a dart. After spraying with the first. Eighty six. So big, yeah. big eleven, big three. Yeah. Leaves double sixteen. If and I'm he confident he'll be back for it. Belmont can prove me wrong. That's a great guide if he finds the treble 20 here. Does find the treble 20 here. Can he pin that bullseye? 93. Oh, that's a great <laughs> I think he knew it was a good guide as well. I'd have loved to have seen the look on his face now. The, the, side side. Uh, the, uh, the face shots. Marcel Walton. Marcel Walton gets his first leg of the semi-final. Of course, I made reference, James, that Marcel Wolpen had won nine legs consecutively coming into the semi-final, blowing away his, his two previous opponents to nil. 100. Obviously, that was always going to be a, a tough uh, record to maintain against Stefan Belmont. It will indeed. I mean, it, you're very rarely going to belt bagel Belmont to nil. That's a tough <laughs> word to say. Um, but I hope um, it's going to be a close game, this one. I think from the start, it's looking like it is going to be a close one, but I do think Belmont's going to have a bit too no much one, for him. No one bagels the Belmont now, do they? No, no one bagels belly. It's a great first out by Walton. He's in the 180 mood in this game. He's hit two already. Ooh, not quite a third. But a very tight yeah, 140. Yeah, very tight 140. With those long points. On the bottom of his brass beauties. 100. There he's back in again. Decides to stay there. Could have not left a finish, but does leave a finish. One, two, six. And the crowd are clapping. It's third 180 and three and a bit legs, James. Fist pumping even the people behind him. Yep. Well, Belmont loves to reply in kind though, doesn't he? He does. This is two travels of his own. This one, two, six is going to have to go, Marcel. Marcel, you require one hundred. Like now, like now wouldn't you say? Does he get a dart of bull here? I think he does. Yeah, I think he's first. Oh, okay. Doesn't get a dart. Important 62 yeah, checkout here. Minus. We've seen this checkout being taken out on stream earlier by a few different players. Single okay. 20, double 16. Goes 12 instead. Yeah, he hasn't been great on the 16, 22. has he? So interesting change up. One at top. Marcel, you require 28. On the top wire. I haven't seen double 14 being hit regularly on the streaming board. Must be said. Will it be hit now? Game shot. Yeah. Marcel, oh, you can see the celebration. He doesn't quite see the dart. But you can tell by the look on that man's face. 
He's happy. Two legs back to back. And the game's tied at two apiece. Will the booyah fluster belly? <laughs> We've got a girl there watching in the in the front row of the stream here, a huge Stefan Belmont fan. Uh, Travelled to come and watch him play today. Really? Yeah. 40. Uh, wish her the best as well. Lovely to see young darts fans here supporting all these great players and obviously a player of Stefan Belmont's quality. Do you think she could take a leg off Stefan Belmont, James? Uh, oh, are we talking, are we talking <laughs> Euro Tour Belmont? Because I don't think anyone could take a leg off Euro Tour Belmont. <laughs> Great first dart there from Marcel Wolfen. Can he find another one? Ooh. Great darts there. He's turned into a real first dart merchant this game, hasn't he? When his first dart's in, he's, he's looking ever so likely. Marcel Wolfen at the moment. He has indeed looked very, very likely. Average 193. These first five legs, both players really come to play. It's great to see two of the best players in Switzerland going head to head here. 60. Over that Euro Tour length of game, first to six, of course. Need to treble, you feel here, Stefan Belmont. Yeah. 57. Of course, this leg's on the wall and throw. His first starts in again. Oh! <laughs> 81. Oh! <laughs> Won't want to let this get away from him here. Real expression on the Walpum, Walpum face there. He does let you know how he's feeling. 140. Can he find a ton 40 to leave himself? Double 20. Great dart there from Marcel. So Belmont went to the 16s originally on this 104 shot. He's left it plenty of times today. Okay. Single 18 will leave double 16 for a 3 2 lead. Marcel just on the outside 40. wire. Wonder why he's varying up that MO, James. What do you think? Do you think is it a confidence thing? Is it a, a momentum thing? A rhythm thing? What, what could prompt the change in? 30. Strategy on a big checkout like that. Stefan, you require 32. Three darts missed there from Marcel Wolpen. I think, I think it's more the 16s we saw Game in the shot last game. Game shot in the big game. play. Stefan Belmont. Six leg is Stefan Belmont. Game can see ball. there. Do you not think he'd back himself on any segment of the board? I know he's had a few misses of the treble 16. He's missed the big number, but I think he's a man that lets a couple of misses weigh heavy on his mind like that. No, I don't think so. But I wouldn't say it's, it's weighing heavy on his mind. I think it's, it's one of those that if you feel like you can hit a segment better than a different segment, I always feel more confident on double 12, for example, than I do any other double on the board. And there's no rationale or rhyme or reason to it, because if you probably look at the stats, it's probably equal to other 100. ones. See the awesome, or, or, almost see the move away from that treble 16 route as a move out of aggression rather than a move out of... Uh, defence or weakness. Well, exactly, and I think he had a dart to, to, to win the leg, so it suggests that it was the right move. So nicely poised here. Great first dart yeah, for Wolf. Well, one one under the two trebles. Two. Oh, yeah. That's his third 180 yeah, of the game. He's been a Incredible menace dart the from Cello. I wouldn't have had Wolpen up in the 180s market here, would you? I would have thought Stefan Belmont would have been hitting more 180s than Cello, but Cello is playing the strings of the 180 violin. <laughs> yeah, he's certainly in tune with the 180 rhythm, isn't he? He is indeed. And here's another. Shots of Walpen. Oh, it's a one. Oh, yeah. Back, to from back 180s from Walpen. 360 points in six darts to leave 41 after nine. Said we've not seen a 12 data on stream 41. so far today. Can we get an 11, Marcel? 41. To break the Belmont darts. We said he might not get many opportunities on the Belmont throw. Stefan Belmont's not on a finish, Marcel. And you're checking in 11 darts. Incredible darts here from Marcel Wolpen. Brilliant. It's very rarely you see a player of Stefan Belmont's quality yeah. sat on over 200 points. Yeah. He has been jugged in darting terms. He has indeed. When your opponent is over 200 points behind, that is the... The term we use in the UK. 250 of you watching 60. on stream at the moment. Yeah. About the same number of points that Stefan Belmont was on at the <laughs> yeah. end of the last leg. <laughs> One point for each viewer. 
Back to three apiece. As Marcel Walpen approaches the 100 mark with his average. 93. Good last start treble from Belly. It's been a really exciting game, hasn't it, so far, James? Have you been impressed, like pleasantly surprised by the level that Marcel Wolpen's brought to this game? This is incredible. Every time that first start is in the treble, I feel like he's going to oh, fill it. And he's again. hit the fourth 180. Oh, James, this is five or six from Marcel Wolpen. Let's have a look. This is, this is a ridiculous number of 180s. 125. This is a crowd-pleasing game at yeah. the moment. If he's can play like this in the semi-final of this tournament, I don't see why he can't qualify and play in the World Cup of Darts for Switzerland. If he plays like this against Andy Bless, I think he'll, he'll blow him away. Yeah. 41. This is a partnership that really has everything, doesn't it? It has the composure of Belmont, the expressiveness of Walpen, the, the explosive 180 hitting of, of both players. Yeah, these two as a partnership for Switzerland really do have everything, don't they? 97. They do indeed. Great last start treble there. Belmont, even yeah. though Walpen's hit a 180, yeah. Belmont's actually in front in yeah. the leg, and this, this goes under the radar. We leave 80 here. Doesn't leave 80. So advantage Walpen, but only just. Quick eye of the scores from Belmont. Treble or two would put Belmont fast. That is two, I believe. Marcel Walpen. Oh, he doesn't get a dart from 120. The combinations haven't quite been flying from Walpen, have they? He hasn't needed to take out big combinations. No, I think he's on 89 left as well, which is not a particularly great move. No, lead. that's poor setup play, really, isn't it? So Belmont. Just to break about right in back. There. Game shot in the seven consecutive breaks, and yes, it is. 14 darts are there from, from Belly to, to come back to Marcel Walpen's 11. Yeah. Cracking darts, this and cracking game of spears. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this as much as we are. Yeah. Well, it's great to see that that young young lady there holding up a sign in the crowd that was handed out by Maurizio Castellavinci earlier. Was he indeed. was handing out some one eighty cards, wasn't he? One hundred. Although she's not a Castellavinci fan, she's a Belmont fan. Mm. It's hard not to be a fan of Maurizio, isn't it? Maybe that can be a second allegiance after the great man Belmont. As Walpen's in again. He's in again. Maybe these 180s from Walpen will change your mind. People in the comments saying, cello on fire. He is on fire. But I think what people aren't realising is, is Belmont's in front. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's, he's a break up in this game. He's far behind on the 180 counter. 140. Uh, he is in front in the game as he puts in a 140 there. Yeah. Walpen running out of time a little bit, isn't he? I mean, he loses his leg. It'll be 5-3 down. His confidence is definitely back to where it was oh, at yeah. the start of the season. Yeah. There was a bit of a drop in in confidence, almost a crisis of confidence, some people were saying, for the last few weeks. But he's back again. 95. I think this game would, be, would love a decider. Two semi-finals going to 11 legs. One Does get that ton 40, so leaves yeah. a finish. Real important last start, that from Walpen. Do you think if two trebles for Stefan Belmont leave himself a double, you think Walpen's probably not going to take out that 140. How handy will it be left? Fifty-eight. Not in anticipation Marcel there, okay. Three big numbers. 108 left. Advantage Walpen, you'd say, here. A straight ton here will be the goal. 100. Be achieved. Stefan, you require 108. Faction, okay. Nice setup there. So it's 108 this time. Will we start on the 20s? 16s possibly, 19s, okay. Four 19s for double 16. Can't find it though. So we've got a chance to level, have a level game here. We do. Back Marcel for a piece. For four consecutive breaks, James. 92. Marcel, Two men just throwing 40. everything they've got at each other here. We've had 11 dark breaks, we've had 12 dark breaks. Game shot in the eighth leg. Martin dart break. Yes, it is. And he's throwing now. It's now a best of three game. It's locked in at four apiece. This has last leg decider written all over it, doesn't it, James? It does indeed. I don't know who I would back in a last leg decider. Wow, Walpen with the darts is surely the uh, the value pick. 60. But he doesn't have the experience of Stefan Belmont. 
the game we're witness to here. Both men averaging over 94. 275 live viewers now watching along with this game. 140. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks to each and every one of those live viewers. And of course to all 256 participants here today. Brilliant turnout for a brilliant event. 60. One of the biggest and best Switzerland's ever seen. You guys want to talk hard for next season. They are still available online. 128 players battling it out over 18 weeks of tournaments. 100. Double headers, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, across all of Switzerland. So if you want your tour card, get it now. Belmont in a real strong position here on the Walpen throw. 96. Six trebles. Only one treble after nine darts. One hundred. Time there from Belmont puts him down first to a finish. Walpen will need two trebles to leave himself on a finish. Yeah. It's looking unlikely and it's not going to happen. Fifty-nine. Stefan, you require one hundred. Worst legs of the game, Marcel. It's really not the time. So he had a bad leg, or as Belmont well, had a really good leg. A little bit of both. He's sixty points ahead on the Walpen throw plus these. I think he might go to the bullseye here. Does but doesn't get it. Okay. So two trebles yeah. for Marcel and, and leg back on again. Just thinking just the same. Just backing on top and does find one. Can he find two? Stefan, you require one hundred and six. It goes to eighteens. Not, not sure I like that because eighteen leaves you one two eight, which is not as easy as one two six or a one two seven. Yeah, we we'll really need to start on the on the eighteens there, won't he? Very sloppy visit from Belmont though. Ninety five yeah. left. One dart. Two consecutive sloppy visits. He missed the outer ball by. Thirty. The balls are by some way. Didn't see in the last visit. Marcel, you require one hundred and twenty-eight. Thirty score from Belmont. The pressure Belmont's fan there standing in the front row, <laughs> right, hoping that that Wolfen doesn't check this one to eight. <laughs> okay. Double twenty for the ball. Fifty-six. Okay. Stephen, you require seventy-six. This is nervy. This is tense. Both men in mid range combinations. Belmont oh, on double eight. His favorite Does he statement. miss double eight? Getting oh, shot in the ninth place. Stick up in. And pops double eight to go 5 4 Stay up. To grow for the match. Game on. The fans are loving it. Roman announces 5 4 Belmont. What a game this is. What a couple of semi finals we've witnessed here. Is the one last twist in the story? Or will this be Marcel Walton's last leg? 60. SDC 22 3 season. Let's find out over the next few minutes. 60 from Belmont lets him in slightly, but he needs to find a treble here. Does There's one. one would be handy. There's two. It's Game not going well and lightly. truly on. Game well and truly on. Both players averaging comfortably in the 90s at the moment. There's that low first start from Belmont. Oh, great adjustment. Been adjusting well to that low first start. Very well. Yeah. To say his start stand up so tall, he really has been working around those those low first starts well. Wolpen also does have a low first start, but he likes to stack on top, so a little bit easier for him. I'll ask you that age old question, James, who's favourite for the leg? Stefan Belmont is is <laughs> underdog now. <laughs> Firmly underdog. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> it swings and roundabouts. <laughs> it's really anyone's lag, isn't it? Here? It is. Cello stays up there, so can't leave the finish. Which suggests Belmont will be first to a finish now. Even three state darts will leave Belmont on a finish. Slow again. But can Belmont make the adjustment? One and he's made time and time again in this game. And he does. Leave Shanghai. Walpen will be thinking, can he just set up here? There's one. Needs Only another really. Five. A second. Ooh. Stefan, you require one hundred and twenty. See the expression on his face, that's painful for Walpen. Okay. He's gonna get a dart for the he's match. Get a dart. And that dart is at tops. 
Game, Shot and the Match for Stefan Belmont. 94 average, beats Marcel Wolpen 6-4, and he's going to go on to the final to pay Andy Bless for the title of MyDart STC Tour Finals. Belmont Bless, incredible game coming up here, Trav. How do you think it's going to go? I'm really excited for the final. Belmont has played the better of the two players in those semi-final games. And he's probably played better in the last few tour events as well. But it's a final. It's a big occasion. Anything can happen. We'll find out shortly. We'll back soon for the final. Don't go anywhere.
Das ist dort in Altstädten schon passiert. Welcome back to the SDC Tour Finals. We're here for the final game between Stefan Belmont and Andy Bless. Who's going to be crowned? <laughs> the winner today of the mydarts.ch SDC Tour Finals. Stefan Belmont has been comfortably our best player so far today. Andy Bless coming through a scrape, uh, a nervy last leg decider there against uh, Stefan Hackler in the last game. Um, but we know he has the quality to, to put, put a bit of a task to Stefan Belmont. How do you see this one going, Trav? Yeah, thanks, James. 256 players came to our left. I think he can make a case, a good, strong case for both of these players deserving their spot in the final. Um, Belmont's probably had the easier of the of the two run-ins in terms of his performances. He's outclassed some great players, Jochen Groudens, Ronnie Liu, Ronnie Liu, Martin Wolpen, a tough Joel Brighton Moser, of course. So he's probably had a tougher run yeah, in I, terms I, of I opponents. Well, yeah, I would. Um, I'm not saying Stefan Apple is an easy semi-final opponent, but easier than Marcel Wolpen averaging 94. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't see Stephen Belmont losing this game. I mean, I foolishly predicted that Marcel Wolpen might overturn the odds and, and beat him in the last one, but you know, all the form, all the, all the stats are saying that Stephen Belmont's bringing the trophy home like he has done so many times in the last few months. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. I think it, it's, it's incredible the stamina of players like Stephen Belmont. I mean, I, I know we're not talking about playing lots of different sports, running marathons or whatever, but these guys have been here concentrating on darts from 10 o'clock this morning. A lot of them are arriving even earlier at like 9 so they can get practice in. They're here at 9 o'clock this morning and it's 10 o'clock now. This is the 10th game for Stefan Belmont and Andy Bless and he, they are playing top level darts players throughout the whole day. His darting stamina is truly incredible, isn't it? It's, it really is a measure to his, his prowess and success as a darts player. And some of the players that haven't even got through are still there watching. Yeah. They love darts. They love darts. Like, and Swiss, Switzerland, for anyone watching who's not from here, needs to really understand how good the atmosphere around Swiss darts is at the moment and how promising everything's looking for the future, all because of... Well, it, not all because, but in part because of the STC and what they've done for Swiss darts over the last year. Ultimately, the growth and the success of Swiss darts will come from the players itself, won't it? They'll need the facilitation from the SDC to, you know, to be hosting the events, to be providing the prize money, to be you know, encouraging great players to participate from across borders. But ultimately, it's down to the players themselves to drive the growth of Swiss darts. And, and Stefan Belmont and Andy Glass are two great people, aren't they, at the helm to really be driving darts. And you know, you can see several other big players in the background there staying to watch. You know, they're the they're the real reason why Swiss Darts has been such a such a takeoff in the last 12 months. Should we have a quick rundown of the awards today for those that were at home that didn't get a chance to, to see who won all of the awards for the SDC this year? So the SDC awards obviously highlighting and, and celebrating Swiss Darts. Um, first award was obviously the moment of the season. I think this was quite an easy one, wasn't it, really? It was, yeah. It, it certainly lit up social media, didn't it, in the aftermath of Jochen Graudens' Bull 12 Bull. Um, the game was locked at five apiece between this man, Stefan Belmont, Jochen Graudens produced the best finish I think we've seen in SDC history. Full 12 full. Agreed. Then we have the Ambassador of the Season Award. Mm -hmm. Rocco Fulciniti being a, a top level darts player and ambassador for Swiss darts. And I think there was there was no better player to, to fly the flag for Switzerland after his switch from Italy. Yeah. Next was the Young Player of the Year Award. And Sven Hoffman was a really worthy winner of that award, wasn't he? Yeah, um, rapture applause. Rapture yeah, he did. Yeah, he brought a lot of fans here today. Um, 
obviously thought he could have a real, real big run in the tournament today, but he's made the final twice, of course, in SDC events in the past. He did have a good run, I think, to the last 32, at least. It was, it was steady enough, or maybe last 64, sorry. But we'll see plenty more of Sven, won't we, flying the flag for Switzerland in the years to come? Very much so. Next next was the most improved, and that was won by Frieda Lang. Um, I think it was quite ironic he didn't have his best run today, but I think he was drawn in arguably the hardest group of, of the whole tournament. Next was the commentator's choice player of the of the year. So myself and James chose this one. We gave it to someone who probably won't be winning titles on darting merit, um, probably won't be seen on the live stream boards too regularly. Um, but Merlitio Castrovinci is a, a man that you know <clears throat> really does make us laugh, make us smile, makes you know makes fans enjoy the game, doesn't he? He's provided those lovely 180 cards you can see in the background there. Um, and he's a real exciting figure, isn't he? He's a real happy-go-lucky character. Yeah, he's kept, on come, and off the hockey. come with all his own merch, and he's, he's given it around to, to everyone who's here today and who's supporting him. So a uh, lovely bloke and, and really does bring a smile to our faces when we watch him on the live stream on the weekend. Um, the next award was then the player of the season and the player's player of the season, both won by the same player. So, so we as an STC committee decided who we, we thought should be the player of the season. And uh, when we asked you guys at home who you thought should win as well, both, both awards went to Marcel Walpen. Um, for a great season. Obviously, I think Belmont, if, if he was more a regular feature, could have been differently in terms of the results, but uh, Marcel Walpen has, has really lit up the STC this year in terms of his quality. You can see in the background there, we've got a real fan club, haven't we? A real darting fan club. Um, I'm told in, in support of Stefan Belmont. Bringing, uh, bringing a smile to Belmont's face and bringing a little smile to our faces as well. See some interactions with the crowd, something we don't get too often at these STC so, events. Brilliant to see. Okay, as we get underway in this our final. Master seven legs, of course. David Zing is in the comments as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd like to say a huge thank you to David Zing as well for, for translating yeah. all of the uh, STC awards today. Obviously, we, we did it in uh, English and it was translated for us really, really well yeah. by uh, David Zing. It was sprung on him at the last minute as well, wasn't he? He only knew that he would be common, uh, uh, translating for us a few minutes before that ceremony took place. So, yeah, big, big thanks to, to David for all his, all his efforts this afternoon. Yeah, really lovely guy, and only picked up darts really recently, so yeah. that was, that was yeah. incredible. To say he, he reached the knockout stages today, didn't he? Only having played for a couple of couple of years. Um, yeah, merit to, to his darting success. Yeah. Darting, darting achievements. It's only going to go up from here, really, when, you, when you've only been playing for a year or so, Absolutely, and, you, and yeah. you get into knockout stages yeah. regularly as yeah. well. Really impressed. Yeah, he's still a relative inexperienced player, isn't he? Still a relative novice to the game. <laughs> That's it. So, last chance to make your calls, make your predictions. For this, the final. Can I ask you for a score prediction, James? Of course you can. Uh, I'm going to go for a Stefan Belmont 7-3 win. Okay. Fairly one-sided prediction there, James. I'd certainly like to see 13 legs in this contest. Mark and Helder here joining us in commentary. Uh, Mark, how do you see this final going? Outside. Um, well, Belmont is definitely the favourite, isn't he? Um, plus, plus Tobos. That's the 25, so uh, Stefan will go first. Yeah. And uh, I... First leg, is Stefan to go first? Uh, oh, maybe I'll do it in German. Um, yeah, I think uh, Belmont will doch klar gewinnen, 8-4. Oder 7-4, eher 7-3. Das ist irgendwie nicht ganz so unwiderstehlich wie äh, noch in der also weil es viele gewonnen hat. Und ähm, Belmont ist einfach zu stark zur Zeit, seine Form, sein Selbstvertrauen. Ja, ich glaube, es wird eindeutig. Lass mich aber gerne eines Besseren belehren und hoffe auf ein enges Spiel. Vielleicht sogar ein Decider. Ich glaube, das würd, würden sich alle Zuschauer wünschen im Livestream. Great insight here from our yeah. SDC founder. Couldn't be a more stark difference between the two scores there from, from Belmont and Bless to open the accounts. Belmont kicking off right where he uh, right where he left in the semi-final game. 
How important do you think these early exchanges are, James, in terms of getting a getting a foot in the game maybe for, for Andy Blast? 100. I think Andy Blast really needs to, to start off with, with treble two trebles here because I know he's obviously, he's now 180 points behind and I think the next leg is already massive. If, if you go two legs down, it, it could be curtains very early doors. Yeah, he's, he's not a man you particularly want to be chasing in the game, is he, Stefan Belmont? Um, Ninety-one. Like saying that, we did see three breaks of the Belmont throw in that Walpen game. Very good darts player, but his, his throw isn't impenetrable, as Marcel Walpen shown. 125 points, uh, 125 viewers sorry, in, the, in the live stream now as well. Brilliant to see, yeah. Good if we could get up past that 300 mark. I know we had somewhere close, didn't we, for Marcel against Stefan. This, of course, is the big game. This is the game that all roads have been leading to. This is the Rome. 99. Stefan requires 72. I, I don't speak German, but away. I can translate the sign, actually. <laughs> it says, belly, you're the best. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's incredible what what sport can do for you as a community and, and bringing everyone together. Uh, 52. Incredible. And you require... Incredible. Yeah, well said, James. What else would be incredible is it <laughs> blessed. Look at this. Oh, outer inner. 75 left. 38. When he leaves tops. Stefan, you require... Don't 20. think he's going to get a pop at tops, funnily enough. Unlike, like, Almond's missed a handful of doubles, hasn't he, in, second in several occasions throughout this game on. throughout the games we've seen on our stream. Not missed one there, though, has he? He has not. 57. As Andy Bless again begins troubleless. How do you think the averages are going to set for, the, for this final? I'd be very surprised if we saw record-breaking averages in the final, or even 60. exceptional averages in the final. I think, given the amount of pressure and scrutiny that's on this game, I think both players will really just be concerned about legs on the board. I don't think either will be concerned by their average, worried by their average. They won't wow. care if they're 10 points higher, 10 points lower. Um, I'd expect Belmont to be in that mid-80s kind of range at the end of this game. You, you if Andy Bless makes it a close contest, he'll be... 180! First 180 of the final. As we do, yep. Good darts from Andy Bless there. No, I think you're right. I, I think we obviously have spoken about how long the day is here. I mean, we talk about uh, players' championships being six hours and the commentators saying how long the days are there. We've played double the amount of darts. Yeah. It's been twelve hour day here. Yeah. So so it's twice as long. So even if it's not playing well, time, you're really always in the venue, the venue's hot, you're surrounded by darts, you're speaking to darts players, your mind's never completely off the game, is it? Also, and you think about Belmont, when when you're here, I mean people at home won't really know about this, but but Belmont's obviously 45. getting spoken to by everyone. Everyone wants to speak to Belmont, everyone yeah. wants insight, everyone wants to know what he's got to offer. Everyone wants a piece of Belmont, you're right. Game shot the second leg. Like a little leg. piece of Belmont as well. A 15 dart hold. To tie up the game, game one apiece. One hundred. Good confident hold of throw from Andy Bless there. We said the early exchanges might be more important for for Bless than it would be for Belmont. I think he's, he's responded well, hasn't he, in the in the opening part of this this game? I think we see Belmont winning so regularly. I think I, I would almost be shocked if Andy Bless won this game. Hmm. So it sounds quite he's a serial winner, Andy Bless. Of course, you know he was nominated for the best moment of this season on his debut weekend. He won back to back tournaments, but that was back to back tournaments that were were bellyless, bellyless tournaments. Correct. But no mean feat to come through these fields, we know that. You have to beat a lot of good players to even get to the final itself. As we know, anything can happen in a final, so to speak. Nine. 
97. So Andy Bless in a good position here on the Belmont throw. Yeah, signature tight grouping from Andy Bless as always. Very much uh, gone under the radar in this leg to, to take the spears off Stephen Belmont. Almost model my game, I feel like, off Andy Bless in that tight grouping. Andy require 100. I wish that I could get the trebles a bit more regular like him. Hmm. I don't quite see the resemblance myself, James, but... For a D4. I'm sure we'll be watching your live stream game again tonight. I will be watching that first leg on repeat. You by choice, me by force. <laughs> but I will watch it with you. To improve our own game and to improve our commentary. And that's why I think it's really quite great that we've got these live streams and we can watch all of our games back. These players can learn from their mistakes. Yeah. We can hopefully offer some words of wisdom or some words of comfort, perhaps. Unlucky there for Blast. We'll just be looking to set this up now. 54. Stefan, you require one. Yeah, still a strong advantage, Blass here. Don't forget, this is the Belmont throw. He's throwing 15 darts already. And mine will be on a double after 18 after this. 74. Ooh, good last dart travel. Pulls himself out of a little hole there. And he blesses the 48 man, of course, on 72. One dart at tops 52. to break. Stephen, Just drops low, and, and now, now in a little bit of trouble here with Stefan Belmont on 68. You, you think Belly's going to get... I was about to say, you think Belly's going to get two darts, maybe at double four, but instead... It'll be... Yep. Oh, oh one the aggressive play. Not sure that's the percentage play there. Andy Bless won't be too happy with that, I don't think. He's not hit tops, so it doesn't matter, but... Mm. James, to only get one dart at double on his own throw after 21 darts. That's a surprise. I think about if we play... Oh, let's see if Bless can squeak this in first. Great last dart. Last dart. Yeah. I think from, from my point of view, if, if someone like... I'm playing someone like yourself in a game of darts game and you, you go out of bullseye... It's a mark of disrespect. It is, yeah. And, and this is someone who's not... Not your level. This is someone of Andy Bless's level. 100. So early advantage in this one to Andy Bless. He started the better of the two players. The averages, of course, reflect that. Although perhaps not quite telling the full story so far. Look down to, I think, who can really hold that darts fatigue. Who can who can keep going? Yeah. Do you think it matters that um, Stephen Belmont played in the first semi-final and Blessy played most recently in that last game that we just saw there? It definitely makes a difference, but in which way, I don't really know. I think it can go either way. Some players like to play first, some players don't. I remember listening to an interview with Rob Cross where he said he likes to play first. Uh, so he gets a bit of time to relax. But mm. then I had listened to a different player who said they like to have played just before, so they get the rhythm. It's, it's a difficult one, isn't it, to, to know if it has any effect on the player's mentality, no, the no. player's performances. Of course, this is the longest format that we've played in an SDC event this year. But yeah, normally Our usual any finals plus six. six, aren't they? Yeah. We're being treated to the extra leg here, which these two players certainly deserve. Stefan Belmont got a full array of sponsors there, including Loxley, My Darts, ADO, and Recag. And you require 100. Andy Bless just wrapping, wrapping the one sponsor there. <laughs> been a long day for us as well. We've been, we've been up very early this morning to come to the venue. My co commentator, Matt, is currently stuffing his face full. We're trying to commentate, Matt, on a game of darts. The irony is not lost on me there, James, with that comment. 100. And you require 170. <laughs> He's just glad there isn't a camera on him right now. So advantage, bless. He's so going to set it up nicely. Leave a double of choice here, yep. Okay. Does leave it nicely on double 16. We've seen Stefan Belmont probably have a pop at 104 five yep. or six times in the last couple of minutes. In, in certain other tournaments, James, it seems to be 116 that the, is the signature Belmont leave, but 
He's maybe ruthless. this tournament that highlight that really seven, can be one oh fours. And you require Oh, and that's so close to another one oh four. He's still not popped the one oh four though. Has he not? He's not hit it once yet, no. Game short and he's has to left it a dozen more times. He has. Three one left. He's on a bit of a, a roll yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Is that three legs in a row? I, I believe it is. Yeah. It is indeed. Important leg here for Belly. Yeah, One Belmont hundred. sort of way below the averages that you'd expect in the last couple of games. He's sitting at that 75 marker so far. Lots of support as per normal in the comments for, for Belmont. Yeah. 35. Certainly seems to be the, um, the favourite of the, the crowd that we've got in the background there as well. Of course, yeah. He'll be... I mean, Blessy and Belmont will both be looking at that trophy next to them, as mentioned before. Oh, yeah. Absolutely mammoth oh, yeah. trophy. One of the best looking trophies I think I've seen for a sporting event. 41, yeah. It'll be feeling a long way away from Stephen Belmont right now, I dare say. Still got that first dart on the top of the treble 20 bed. <laughs> it's incredible. How these guys do it for 10 hours just consistently at the top of the game is, is really quite spectacular. We struggle to do it for 20 minutes, let alone for 10 hours. <laughs> Great darts there from Bless, but is it too little too late on the Belmont throw here? <clears throat> we'll kind of be thinking a treble here. Should put him in a good position yeah. for the leg. Yeah. You can never rule out someone like Andy Blast, though, can you, with his 180 hitting? And then spraying there into 45, yeah. a ton 40, and Blast is the first one to a finish. 123. Ton 23 is not bad. It's yeah, close enough to a ton 40. I'd certainly take that. Really says to Belmont now, you need a ton, Stefan, to remain in control. When do you start worrying a Stefan Belmont? It's first to seven, so there is time. Yeah. When you start getting a little bit shaky. I think he only gets shaky when he knows he's being outplayed. At the moment, I'd say Andy Bless has been the better player in the opening exchanges, but he hasn't, he hasn't blown Belmont off the board. Belmont's had darts at double in almost every leg. Um, I think besides one where Andy Bless produced a 15 darter and, and blew Stefan Belmont away. But Belmont's roots are changing quite a lot. Obviously, 81 there. He's going for outer ball for then 16 for tops. But 55. Yeah, you're right. He is, he is certainly changing from his usual MOs. That's that's not a route I'd expect from Belmont, is it, on 81? It's not a route I particularly like, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of, of, of giving... Like, if you're a, a, a top-level dart that's about Stefan Belmont, you should say, I can hit a treble yeah. with one dart in hand. Especially a big treble, a 20, a 19, and 18. Sorry. Just a quick adjustment there on Belmont's score. No need for panic. He's, of course, on double eight. Speaking of quick adjustments, can he quickly adjust to finding that double eight? Just inside on double 16, last visit. Okay, the I absolutely love Stefan Belmont. I think Marcel Walton still has nightmares about the Stefan Belmont double eight, doesn't he? All those tournament finals that went the way of Belmont. Most of those have a feeling on, on that double eight segment. It's a nicely poised game, a nicely poised final. Three, two, of course there'll be no break. We're just gonna play straight through. Whether that's nine legs or the full 13. I think one shout out that we've not really given today on, on live stream is obviously of Jacob Dalman. You can see him in the background carrying his camera everywhere, taking photos, yeah. videos, everything. He is an absolute one working machine and days. deserves full credit for everything he's done today. I've uh, been recording from 10 a.m. this morning, was recording until 12 p.m. last night, he filming was. content for the STC 55. community. It's really something quite incredible. We talk about darting stamina, but Jacob Dalman's arms must be getting tired carrying that, that heavy camera around all day. Mostly scouring around these two brilliant darts players as well for a lot of that time. Bless here has just given his darts away to yeah, Belmont if he doesn't find a treble. You know, if he doesn't find a treble, of course he finds a treble. Andy Bless has a thing for doing that to me when I'm compensating on him. Yeah. 
He's a somewhat unpredictable set player in that sense, isn't 100. he? He is indeed, yeah. He's got low scores, he's got high scores that can very quickly interchange. Trying to read the man is, is a difficult, difficult skill. You're Marcel Wolpen watching this. Are you thinking I averaged 20 points higher than, than this in the last game? Stefan, you require 146. You only play what's in front of you. He's an experienced enough man to know that sometimes he's not at his best and, and blows opponents away. Oh, wow. Belmont Game shot the sixth there. So one more save. Incredible. Game That's a real big moment in the game, you feel. One for six from Stefan Belmont. I think that could be a tied turner there. I think taking that out when Andy blesses 3-2 up. He was 3-1 down and on the brink of going 4-1 down. Now he's in a very, very strong position, I think, with the throw. I think Belmont is the man to beat in Switzerland. Real composure on that checkout, wasn't it, James? 59. Took his time. Pop, pop, pop. Perfection from Belmont. So he follows his two trebles doubles with six treble starts. He has indeed. That's the way the game goes. Do you think they'll be thinking about the money at this point? Do you think that'll be in their head? A very interesting question. At this level of darts, I don't know what motivates Andy Bless and Stefan Belmont. Of course, there'll be the monetary element. That's nice. But I think both of these darts players thrive more on reputation, thrive more on winning. I think both will still just be thinking about winning and the finishing line rather than the, you know, the financial incentives for winning this game. Great darts from Bless there to leave the big fish. Still a checkout we've not seen on stream yet. Yep. I do agree with the, with the money point. I do think the, the only thing is, is it's quite a lot more money than, than a normal game of, of darts. Obviously, Belmont as well on the Euro Tour, which is equal, equal kind of level of financing. But uh, this tournament is, is high for, for Swiss darts in general. So for people like Andy Bless and a lot of the other players, it's, it's quite a lot. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Absolutely right. Andy Bless will have a pop at 74 here. Well, and I think he might have a few darts at it. Well, don't rule out Stefan Belmont from this kind of range. So one point 62. higher checked, of course. Stefan the last leg. 146 is a lot easier than 145, though, I think. <laughs> Both are very difficult checkouts that this man could be about to make look easy. Oh, could he? Oh, Ooh. he can't. 93. And you require he won't be able to leave his favourite double 16 you see on a 145, whereas a 146 he definitely can. Seeing every double segment big right now, Stefan Belmont is blessing it big. No score. Oh, Stephen, what's you require 52. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The leg that Andy Bless was dominating will now turn in to two darts that he has to survive. Will Belmont punish? 32. No, he and won't. Well. Okay. To be honest, I didn't see that missing, did you? I didn't see Bless coming back. Okay, short in the seventh leg. Andy Bless. Those darts out of his mind. Eight Can. Mine's the double six. Nice start. 19 dart break of throw is not something you expect to get against Stefan Belmont, is it really? Absolutely right, James. Yeah, we said that in the Marcel Walpen game as well, didn't we? I think I remember the comment. Marcel Walpen broke in 21 and we said... 180! It's a rarity. Bless he starts with yeah, Not a rarity. And Andy Bless on 80. If he can go 5-3 up, it's then really pressure on oh, Stefan yeah. Belmont. Yes, yes, yes. Finish line's definitely in sight, isn't it, at 5-3 up? Seven. Yeah, indeed. Must be into the real, real business stage of this game. For all those who haven't seen the previous game... Andy Bless could have well and truly been Nine out two. by Stefan Hackler. 5 3 down. It starts 180 and then 92, putting himself in a comfortable position in this leg. Belly really needing to fill the bed just to get himself back in this one. <laughs> 140. Almost fills the bed there. Doesn't quite oblige to your command there, James. Will he go downstairs to leave the fish again? I think he will. Ooh, she doesn't, leave a finish. Finish. she doesn't leave a finish. 
A 140 or a 180 here from Belmont. Great first half. 123. 123 there. Doesn't even finish as well, but puts himself on the precipice similar to Bress. Oh, yeah. A great, great leg from both. Both averaging over 100 in this leg, of course. 56. Great stance to darts comparatively. Both players may be a little disappointed that they're both, you know, on that 77 mark. You like to talk about the averages, James, but I think there's been a couple of legs missed starts a double from both 90. that maybe they're and you require 112. affecting that number, let's say. 91 and 122. Will he get the 122? Goes 20 for double 16. 96. Bit rushed. I'm not going to criticise fast players, no, for, for rushing or for throwing quickly at the second and third darts. I think he was obviously confident about his target. Oh, oh. my goodness, Belmont. He's done that a lot on 16s. He's done that a lot on 16s today. That 16 segment, he is just dropping low. Um, the aggressive route into attacking the treble 16, but ended up with nothing. If you're going to go and attack the treble, I think go for treble 17. If you've gone the outer ball route on 91, you're really wanting to secure a dart, aren't you? That's the purpose of going that way. Wow, that's miles well, away, that dart. A double. Double four, please. Cameraman. <laughs> oh. Bless just putting it inside it's here. It's almost close to double three and the double four, James. Yeah. Start in the eight leg. Stefan Belmont. Not just pinned by Belly. Bless starts that leg with his own throw with 180. But it'll be in the ledger of Stefan Belmont. As we now go into what is effectively a group stage game, a first to three contest. Be some group of death if you had these two in your group, wouldn't it, James? How do you see this one going from here? Well, I said it before, advantage of throw is massive. It didn't quite work out the case for Marcel Walpen like that. Been a lot of breaks of throw, hasn't it? There has, yeah, there has. It's because they've both missed doubles in patches, haven't they, in clusters together. When one person's missed, they've missed several. And it's allowed the other one in. 134. Oh, bless. Great darts there from Stefan Belmont to, to put pressure on Blessy here. Six. Locked at four apiece. So many people still knocking around in the background. Pascal Olga yeah, Nobody there. has Spent left. Nobody has there. left, have they? Some people even cosy there with a blanket on their, on their <laughs> sofas. I'm sure it's not getting cold in that venue. I don't think they need a blanket. It's been hot, hot, hot all day. Feeling hot, hot, hot. And these are some of our hottest spears of the day. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Obviously, the walk on the song to Rob Cross. The victor over Stefan Belmont last week. That would have been a great scout for Stefan, wouldn't it? Certainly would. A former world champion, of course. Do you think Stefan has the potential to become a future world champion? A big statement, James. There's only a handful of, of world darts champions, isn't there? Um, but wouldn't it be great if one could originate from from Switzerland or from this part of Europe? That would certainly be a, a brilliant achievement. One three one there from Bless, putting a bit of pressure on here. Can he pop the big fish though, Belmont? Can he pop the big fish? Perfect first dart for him. One four six. Oh, oh, he won't get it out of the ball. I am gutted. <laughs> We've still not yet. We've still yet to see the fish on stream. One fifty for bless though. One fifty oh. for bless. Double eighteen. Oh, rushes that last start. I felt snatched it a little bit inside. The adrenaline was surely pumping there on the double eighteen. Can easily be forgiven for trying to control that and, and pull it low. Great dart there. Travel eleven to leave double sixteen. Just outside, can he find it? Getting shot in the ninth leg. Great adjustment down. there. Yeah. His dart legs. really do sit and nicely for that first. double 16. They just Game kind of bend on. slightly. Got a nice little message in the background from Lucas Dalman there. Go belly. <laughs> He's supporting the Belmont. We asked him yesterday who he thought he might win this tournament. That was the name on his lips. Was indeed. He, he was... Uh, he was really excited to play the potential of playing Shorty Sailor today. Yes. Bit of a shame he couldn't be here yeah, today. Yeah, unfortunately he was um, he withdrew from the tournament today. But he I've will be in Basel. Will. Yes, I've been told he, he will be making an appearance. He will be in Basel 100. to commentate in person. I've heard. Brilliant. 
Just need stream board two and out. <laughs> PDC obviously announcing this week they're streaming four games at Players Championships now. Four streaming boards. Yep. STC currently well, has two. Four, Could potentially move to four in the future. Mm. It's purely due to the demand of all the people wanting to to watch and follow these STC games, and we've got 250 plus of you following along on YouTube. I feel like the standard is getting better now towards the back end of this game. Do you not think that's hotting well? up? It's hotting up. Both players know every visit matters, every point matters right now. Will he stay there or will he go bull maybe? He does stay there, only hits a ton. Both players will, will hope for a dart here at 1 2 1. Bless has not got a dart. So Stephen will Belly have a pot? Mm. I think he will, James. I think he'll hit the treble 20. I wouldn't be surprised if he went bull the way he's been playing. No, he does go the treble 20 route, does go the aggressive route. And doesn't get a dart either. Okay. 57. Okay. Set up play the same, yeah. 64. 16. 16. Game shot in the 10th leg. Andy Bless. Double Blake. 16. Great finish from Andy Bless there to put it at 5 We're back to a best of three. Game on. Belmont to throw. Game on. This is hotting up nicely. This is hotting up nicely. Both players averaging 82 after over 10 hours of, of time in that venue. Don't like to keep Not going on about the, the, the longevity of this, but it really is something to behold. We've been treated to a final that I think this tournament deserves, don't you, James? We have indeed. We've had 12 hours of darts, we've had 256 entrants, we've had 100 plus averages, 100 plus checkouts. And we've now got a a tasty final here. 58. Topping off what's been a brilliant day of darts. And an opening here. Nine plus. Finds that treble. Two visits of 100. And Stephen Belmont, a quick eye of the score there. Slight sign of distraction, a slight sign of irritation perhaps looks very concentrated on his face he's he's clearly desperate to win this tournament 66 and he's looking over oh, at the score wow. and he's getting concerned a spray left and right from andy bless he's still the slight favorite in this leg i'd suggest i think you are right he is the slight favorite but will he win <laughs> who knows well it's a massive leg 44. it's a massive leg for both players no trouble there from belmont as well just seems to be getting away from him Level 140 here. wonder if he can use the energy of that fan at the front with yeah. the Belmont sign. Yeah. Maybe just turn around and embrace the, the crowd for a moment. Just feel his... He, he needs something now, Belmont, doesn't he? Oh, and that's a great first start. 108! Oh, oh, Belmont. Under immense pressure. 60 points behind on his own throw. He pulls out the perfect score. But oh, Andy Bless right back at you. Andy Bless puts in a ton 40. 84 wow. plays 60. It's on a knife edge. Stefan Belmont. So it'll be one dart. And it'll be one dart at the bullseye. The 6 5 advantage. Oh, it's the bottom left corner. He's had issues on that left corner. He misses the ball to that side. Bless doesn't want to rush really this. To pay. 40. In my opinion, Bless just throwing this away a bit too quickly. I know he's always quick to come to the board, but just felt like there. That just... double 10 seemed more composed, but the dart at tops, I agree with you. It, it did seem awfully rushed. I know the 20 provides a bit of a marker on tops on that 60 checkout, but here's a man who won't be rushed. Oh, Bell, on his favorite, double, double eight. There it is. To go one leg away from the title, the crowd can appreciate that. We can hear it in the room next door. The crowd are really up for this, and Belmont's up for it too. 120. Crack a little smile in the background there. Great one, two, five there from Andy Bless. I think this game deserves a last it leg does, of style. Yeah, it certainly does. Belmont will be hoping he can finish it now. The determination the of his face. finest spears. Good last start from Stephen Belmont. 
But Blast is not going One away. He's easy. not going down without a fight. Incredible darts after this day in the arena. How he's continually to hit those 180s. Ruthless. Andy Blass. He's learned from Marcel yeah. Wolfen in the last game. I wonder if he might struggle mentally after missing those two darts from 60, but he's come back composed and focused. He's straight back in that oh, treble again. 100. I'm like a man possessed this leg, leaving 96 after nine. We are looking like we're going to a deciding leg. We're going all the way, folks. 256 people came, two are left, and it looks like those two are going to be decided in one yeah. leg of darts. It'll be 501 points. 56. Decide who's our winner. Who is going to take all the prize money and the coveted trophy of the SDC Tour Finals? We are assuming here that Andy Bless is going to pin top. But... <laughs> <laughs> and you require You'll have six, teams. Andy. And maybe even a few more if you need them. But let's get it done here and now. Good guide, that. Can't okay. quite use it. Game short and a 12th play. Well done, and there Andy it is. Bless. Right. Here we go. Final leg is six Stefan all. Both men smile. Game on. I'm glad they can see the funny side. How are the nerves? Yeah. <laughs> Belmont the to shaking. So advantage Belmont with the throw, of course. But really, it's who can hold their nerve better. Whose Treble stomach one. will rumble the least? Treble one first Whose off. hand will shake the least? Opportunity here for Bless if he can find a yeah. treble. He had a brilliant Nine, leg there, didn't he, in that, in that 12th leg? The winner of this leg getting 1,000 Swiss francs for all the marbles. So Belmont. Great grouping there. Start six treble starts. He does start six treble starts. Advantage Bless, you'd say now. It's Mandy Bless with a grimace on his face. 57. Try and power it. Oh, okay. Replies treble -less. The well came up dry. Oh, there it is. Get James. Stefan Belmont. This is going to be a 180, I think. Could what be a 180. Is a 180. Incredible composure from Belmont in the last leg decider. We saw Andy Bless survive the 180 in the deciding leg. 134 there. there. Incredible darts. Puts himself back in the lead. Just three points in it after all this time. These two men cannot be separated, can they? 18 weeks 100. of darts has led to 32 players getting seeded, 256 people coming to Thun, and three points separate them at this point in the game. It's incredible. Yeah. 60, Stefan, you require 120. Just 60 there from Andy Blast. So Belmont, 120. This was his checkout to beat that Marcel, Wolfen. Marcel Wolfen. Will it be the undoing of Andy Blass? Oh, it won't. 60. Bless will be back. And you require 150 for a long shot. But we've seen this range checked already in this game. Oh my goodness, treble 20 for tops. Oh my god, got double top. 170. Oh. 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 Stefan, oh you require god. 60. Oh, that would have been something spectacular. One dart has come and gone for Andy Bless. How will Belmont respond to that? His heart was in his mouth there. He must have seen. So Belmont. Will return for two at tops. The target Andy Bless has just missed. Andy Bless can't look. He's put his darts down. He's doing all he can not to look. <laughs> oh, one dart. One dart, dart double ten. ten. Forty. Oh, it's a oh, oh, my Andy God. Andy Bless 40. is going to have three darts in hand at tops to take the title of SDC Tour Finals. That man on the front row, you know how we feel. Hands clasped around the face. Last for tops. It'll be one at ten. Stefan, you oh, he's just missed. Oh, both players have missed darts to double now. This is incredible stuff. Can Belmont compose here and finish the job? Dave. I can't believe this. Stefan Belmont. Stefan Belmont. That my darts at CH. Swiss Darts Corporation.
incredible game of darts, an incredible tournament in general. I think the best tournament I've been a part of, and I'm, I'm so glad that, that we all got to experience this together. Incredible darts, and what a match, what a final, and what a tournament. What a country as well for Swiss, for, for the darts. Kannst du nicht
einen grossen Moment, endlich mal ein Pokal in der Hand. Sind wir schon ready? Ja. So, wir kommen dann zu der Thank you. 